Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the broadcast of week two of the Rogue Company League. I am your boy, the announcer, Rude Boy Mitch. Alongside me, my partner, my tag team partner, the one and only Renegade. How are you feeling today, Renegade? I'm feeling great, brother. I, I cannot wait for these matches this week. Nice, nice. Yeah, we had a lot of excitement last week. It was uh, it was really exciting to uh, see all the gameplay, and um, some people got took to the uh, the limit, man, the max, and uh, it was something else. It was definitely something else. We had a lot of really great matches. Uh, one that kind of stood out to me was the uh, Sosa versus Lilith matchup. That was absolutely incredible. Incredible. And it just came down to the wire. But before we start talking about competitors and how things went, uh, let's go ahead and get into the standings here of the league. Um, I've got that pulled up here on my side. We've got Hike Diesel at 21 points, uh, tied with a five way tie with Vision, Lilith, Necrospawn, and Jay Doggles. Uh, coming in second, uh, Monkey Tart with 19 points. Um, as far as. Uh, him being in second, uh, that's awesome. Sosa Flea sitting in third uh, with 18 points. Aqua Stone and Rude Boy Mitch, which has backed out myself. Um, Aqua Stone sitting in four, fourth place uh, with 17 points. We got Patio Appliance for 16 points. Asian One with sixth place tied with, again, Renegade, who has also backed out because we want to focus solely on the commentary. Um, with 15 points, uh, Frenchie with se- at seven with nine points, Heartless Slayer with six points, uh, tied with Gabs at nine and Gomac, Hustle Dice at third, and Miss Killer Bunny at 11th as far as with no points because we know Hike Diesel just put on a clinic. Um, also kind of venturing into the matches as well for today. Um, things have been switched a little bit uh, with me and Renegade uh, switching out. So it will be Patio and Asian one as far as facing each other. Um, then we got Necrospawn Gaming and Monkey Tart. Frenchie and Heartless Slayer. Uh, Hustle Dice and Miss Killer Bunny. Aqua Stone and Sosa Flea, Jay Doggles and Lilith, and the final match to round up the day is, oh wait, no, we've got Gomac and Gabs, and the final match to round up the day is actually going to be Vision and This Is Madness, because Hike has a uh, scheduling conflict, and with that being said, uh, Hike will be deducted the two points as far as the next following week. Um, let's go through these matches, Renegade. Uh, what do you think about this first match here? Uh, Asian one and patio. I think this is going to be a, a, a tight, a tight match. Um, I, I've, I've seen both of them play now. I, I think patio is, is a fairly new taco to the, uh, the rogue league or the rogue company game. And, uh, I know Asians played a lot, but he, he typically only plays with one character. So I, I think, I might give the edge to Patio in this one. Okay, okay. Um, and also, uh, just before we get into the other matches, I forgot to mention, the Rogue this week was announced um, on Friday, and it was Ronin, and it was a huge announcement. A lot of people were pretty excited about that. Um, so each each of these competitors will play as Ronin against each other, and also not only will they play each other, they are playing on the map. Uh, how do you say the name, man? I can't say the name. Fazali's is that right? <laughs> I, so. I, I I'm not sure how to pronounce. It. <laughs> but they are playing that map. Um, but yeah, so kind of diving into it, I I kind of agree. Um, Asian one has only played with one character, so. So putting these two titans up against each other and face each other as, you know, a character that Asian one is kind of unfamiliar with. But Patio, Patio is gravitating this this uh, this way to play this game. I mean, he really is. And he surprised us last week with Necro. Like, with him being brand new, he took Necro almost to the max, or if not pretty close. And, yeah, yeah uh, it was definitely close. It was it was a sight to see, it was definitely a sight to see. So, honestly, I feel that uh, 
it's going to be a great match all around. Um, I, I, I know there might have been a match between Patio and, and Rude Boy Mitch and behind closed doors as myself. And uh, I feel that uh, he is pretty good and uh, scary. You know, he, he'll make you sweat. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the next match, we've got uh, Battle of the UK here, um, our UK taco fam, uh, Necrospawn Gaming and Monkey Tart. Uh, what do you what do you think here? I mean, Monkey Tart, he's a sleeper. He uh, he can catch you off guard um, real, real fast. Uh, and uh, Necro, I mean, Necro, he, he, he mains Glitch and Dima, and we've never seen him play with Ronin, like not once. So I have never seen him play with Ronan, so this this is definitely going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, but like you said, Monkey is definitely the sleeper of of these two. Uh, he can definitely play a lot of uh, a lot of mind games on you. Absolutely, yeah. I I I just don't know. Like it's uh it's it's just it's it's a really interesting matchup. Um, I would have to probably call Monkey Monkey Tart the underdog in this matchup. But I, I feel that he's got a shot. Like, I feel that he can he can do it, you know? Um, right. But never count out Necro. Necro is just, just a natural at everything. And then uh, going into probably what I think is going to be the, the star match of the, uh, the week um, in terms of skill, gameplay, strategy, um, is is Frenchy and Heartless. I think put a star next to this match. I think this is going to be the match of the, of the week. Get, I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, Sosa and Lilith ended up pulling out the match of the week last week, and I, and I didn't think it was going to be be that. But this one, I have a feeling this is going to be match of the week. I I, I might even second that. Um, my, my next closest one could possibly be the uh... – one of the next matchups that we'll get into a little later, but I think the next, the runner-up could definitely be uh, Sosa and Aqua, but we'll get, we'll get into that a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, I I, I, I think this is it. Um, Harless, man, we all know how she plays. She can be very sneaky. You got to watch her. If she creeps up on you, and if you don't know where she is, you're in trouble, man. You are absolutely in trouble. And Frenchy, Frenchy, man, he he's one of those competitors that... When he plays, he may lose a round or two, but man, he will creep up on you. And if you don't like, like no, let him know like what you're about, like you know, sit down type Frenchie. Like you gotta, you gotta come at Frenchie. Um, if you don't let him know, he's gonna, he's gonna pull away. So um, he, he's, he is one of those competitors that makes those adjustments and possibly can pull it off. So I, I hardly, firmly believe that. That this right here is going to be the match of the day. I just, I don't Absolutely. see. I don't. I, I definitely see Heartless having the uh, the upper hand in this one because, uh, as you know, Heartless does play does spend a little bit of time with Ronan, so she she may have the upper hand on on uh, on Frenchy today. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Uh, the next uh, the next matchup we're looking at we're looking at Hustle Dice and Miss Killer Bunny. Um, this matchup's really interesting to me because we have. Somebody that absolutely could not do anything last week against Hike Diesel. Like, anything she tried just, just fell apart. And we've got somebody that brand new to the game and has never played it. Like, her first game of Demolition was last week, and she couldn't figure out how to play the bomb, and she couldn't figure out how to, how to you know, kind of do things. Um, but the thing is, is she plays a style of game to where she may be able to you know, hold her own in this in this sequence. Um, this is going to be tough because Miss Killer Bunny has a little bit more experience with the uh, the the rogue the rogue game, um, and Miss uh, and and Hustle she is solely on a different game, which a different play style. Um, God, I don't I don't know. Like uh, the the underdog would have to be Hustle Dice in this. Um, I would say, right? I mean. I, I I would agree with that. Um, I, I definitely feel this one's gonna definitely come down to uh, who's got the better gunplay and who can who can utilize that knife better between these two. Yeah, absolutely. I just I don't I don't know. Um, 
and uh, we'll see. Like, I'm, I'm really. It, this is probably the most intriguing match of the day to me. Like, it may not be match of the day, but I am curious to see how this match goes. Um, and then, and then we've got Sosa Flea and Aqua Stone. Um, I mean, what do you, I'll let you bounce your thoughts off of this match first. So. We, we, we all, I mean, th- th- this is going to definitely be another one that I think is going to come down to who's going to have the better gunplay and who's going to utilize that knife better. Um, these are two competitors that just neither one of them really have a whole lot of experience, if any at all, with this rogue for this week. Um, so it's, I, I, I definitely feel that there's going to be, uh, it's going to be who has the better gunplay and who can utilize her knife in the the best way possible um i would i would probably give i might give sosa a little bit of an edge because of the fact that one of ronin's primaries is the same primary weapon for dima who is sosa's main character so i don't know but i think it's definitely going to be a good matchup yeah absolutely um and, uh, you know, Aqua, we all know the presence of Aqua. I mean, there has been talks around the league that Aqua is possibly one of the best rogue players of all time. I mean, he is the one that we are kind of basically he is a favorite pick to possibly win the entire thing but sosa may be able to pull off the unbelievable upset. I mean, if sosa pulls off this upset against Aqua, I mean, that would be huge. It would be absolutely huge, and I don't think anybody would let let like not talk about it. Like it would be the talk of the week. It, it would definitely be the talk of the week if Sosa can pull off this W today. I mean, this is literally a match between David and Goliath. We're talking giant versus small man here, and uh, uh, it's 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 exciting. You, you just you just feel how electrifying that feels. Oh, it is absolutely. Uh, um. And then we've got uh, Jay Doggles and Lilith up. And uh, what do you think of that match? This one, th- this one, th- this one's had me thinking about it a bit. Uh, thinking about it a, a, a little bit. Um, again, we're in another in another matchup where you know neither competitor has really spent a whole lot of time with this rogue for this week. Um, I, I, I kind of feel like a broken record, but it, 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 again, I think it's going to come down to that knife play and who has the better uh, the, the the better aiming with the guns. Right. Absolutely. I agree. And, uh, you know, I mean, Jay Doggles is he's he's the man. I mean, he's he's good. Uh, he maxed out points last week. Um, you know, he had two little hiccups against, uh, his opponent, um, one jumping off the map, uh, uh, reports told me that he did just roll out of bed, um, so he was, uh, a little incoherent, but I think he's gonna be awake and ready to play today, um, and Lilith, uh, Lilith pulling off the upset against Sosa last week was huge, um, Absolutely was. if she can pull off another one, like, would that make her a force to be reckoned with? Like, would you, would you be like, okay, like, this is it. I'm, I've got a target on her, and she's not taking me out. Like, wouldn't that be? I mean, she would definitely be. You definitely would not be able to take her lightly. If she can pull off the W again today against a a, a top talent, I, I I don't think you could underestimate her anymore. Like, you would have to consider her a. A, a huge force to be reckoned with in the, in this league. Yes, I, I, I 100% agree. Uh, next up on the list, we've got Gomak versus Gabs, who I would say last week played almost somewhat similar. They, uh, they, they I think they scored, they scored the same amount of points. Um, Gomak, he is, he's got a little bit of time in this game, but I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly who his main rogue is. Uh, and Gabs, Gabs. Gabs plays Ronin. Gabs knows Ronin. Gabs loves Ronin. Ronin and Lancer, I believe, are her her girls. So this is going to be really crazy because I feel like in terms of experience with Rogue, I think Gomak is definitely lacking in Ronin. But who knows? Like, again, this is another one where maybe Gabs is uh, is having an off day and Gomak may come in and, uh, and, and, you know, take care of business. 
Yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. Um, I, I've definitely seen Gabs play, and like you said, she does. She does. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure her mains are are Ronan and Lancer, um, so she's definitely going to have the upper hand there as far as knowing how to utilize various things and and when to use them, and you know, getting that proper plant with that knife. But uh, I, I don't know if I could sleep on uh, on Gomac. He, he may be able to catch her on an off day, like you said, and be able to capitalize on that and, and pull out the uh, what, what, what maybe a, a surprising W. Yes, absolutely. And then the final match of the day with a substitution, uh, it would have been Hike, Diesel, and Vision. If I remember correctly, they did have their exhibition match behind closed doors, and Hike Diesel did beat him, I believe, seven to two. Um, it but was seven, seven four. Oh, seven, seven four. four, seven four. So that would have been a good match to see um, because Vision really took Hike to the limits. And I do apologize if you guys do want to go back and see that. I believe it was streamed, so check them out on Vision and Hike Diesel. Uh, VODs if you could but um, with a last minute replacement and thank you for coming in is going to be This Is Madness as far as This Is Madness um, she uh, I have talked to her before she does love Ronin um, quite a bit and as far as that being said um, she, uh, she she does does like to play with uh with Ronan a lot, and she does play this game. What do you think? I mean, we've never seen her play, so I, yeah, this one's definitely going to be a, a, a very interesting matchup. Um, I, I'm kind of kind of interested to see how how Visions does with this because uh, you know he may have gone into this match. I mean, I understand they had their their unsanctioned match a, a few days ago to see how it would have played out, but. How do you go into a match not not being able to you know kind of to really scout out who you're going against and especially when you're expecting one person and now it now it's somebody different. Yeah, um, I mean adjustments definitely have to be made, right? I mean, do you think absolutely. do you think Vision went and did a little bit of a did a little bit of research as far as um, as far as uh, um like you know went back and kind of watched the play style did a little game film or do you think that he's just gonna play it straight up i i would like to think that that visions went and, and did a little bit of scouting to, to you know check out her play style and see you know what what she likes to utilize as far as different things as far as you know various weapons and you know how she plays them and you know, is she an aggressor or is she a conservative player or, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I would like to think that he, he went and did some scouting on that, but who knows? He, he may have surprised us and uh, decided to, to, to go with a, I'm just going to go in it as a surprise and just see what happens. But mm -hmm. definitely going to be an interesting matchup. Most definitely, most definitely. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I kind of agree with you. Uh, I think it's going to be, uh, really interesting. Um, I think that, uh, Miss Madness, uh, well, I think she, I believe she goes by Miss Madness, but it's, this is madness, um, what she goes by. Um, I believe that she definitely, uh, you know, um, is gonna, gonna bring her a game. I know she wanted to possibly join the league, um, but the league was already created before she was in. Um, also for all of you fellow tacos out there, if you are interested in joining a league, um, we will probably do another one after this. Um, the way that it works, uh, as far as the point standing and just kind of going through the thing is the spectate mode is broken in rogue league right now. So the way that it works is me and renegade are on opposite sides of the match. We are flying in and we are jumping off the map so we can have the one-on-one -on -one going on uh it is based on a point system you must win the round unable to get the points you get two points for an elimination one point for either bomb disposal or bomb explosion um so basically you can have a total of three points per round which a max out of 21 points 
Um, and then uh, basically the first person who wins after the league gets to pick the map for the duos tournament as the last person actually gets to pick their partner for the duos per- tournament. There is a prize pool involved as well that has been put up by Vision. Um, if you want to know the amounts of that, you can go to the Discord and uh, search as far as uh, what those indications of first, second, and third would win after the uh, league um, so I just wanted to uh, give you uh, that information. Um, so after this league, we will uh, we will open up and probably do another league, kind of switch it up a little bit. This week league is just basic rogues, a random rogue that gets selected, and uh, we will uh, definitely definitely uh, do another one. Um, we got to we got to try to make it fun. Um, and if you guys are not a part of these leagues, uh, it's it's a blast. The uh, Rogue Company channel blows up with memes and so much competitive talk between the tacos because the tacos always talk about how love and tacos but i tell you what after a league happens who knows what can happen like who knows who knows um absolutely so anywho there is a timer as far as people going in i know we are a little early but uh um you know, little little timer as far as a deduction. If you miss it, lots of rules involved. Um, but other than that, uh, let's uh, let's break down a little bit more of last week. Uh, last week, um, you know, we had uh, we had Monkey and Heartless play each other. Um, that was a, that was a great match as well. Um, Heartless uh, had uh, some grenade throws that are just absolutely amazing. Like just just absolutely yeah. amazing. I have some very sick grenade throws. Those, those, they were just nasty. Oh man, and and sneaky too. You just don't see him coming. You really don't see him coming. Um, you really don't. You know, patio, patio took Necro to the limit. I think patio did make one mistake of jumping off the map, if I remember correctly. Um, I do be right on that. I, I'm pretty sure he did fall off the map at one point. And then also Patio, though, Patio Necro was the only match where we had to actually, they broke our point system, and we actually had to finagle a little bit to uh, to fix it um, because they each scored a point in the round, and we, you know, we had to, they were really understanding, and that's why we have the new rule of you must win the round to get the points. Um, because if we wouldn't have done it that way, Necro would have ended up with like 23 points and it wouldn't have been fair because Ike Diesel didn't lose a match. Um, but we've got these, uh, we've got these, uh, guys in chat just blowing up and getting really excited. Um, this league is going to be what four more weeks after this and we'll have a winner. Um, it's pretty exciting. Uh, now, with last week, with the way everything plays, um, did you have any doubt or any mind of who's sitting in first, second, and third right now, or how many ties we have? I was definitely surprised by the amount of ties. Like, I, I really kind of thought that we would have, you know, maybe, you know, one, two, maybe a third one. Right at the top, definitely being the the, the stand out the standout competitors, but uh, with having as many as we did, I was very shocked by that. Nice, nice. Yeah, it was uh, it was uh, it was it was interesting. Like, who do you think? Who, uh, if you had to choose right now, who do you think is first, second, and third? Just after the first week. After the first week. Yep. My 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 top three would probably go. Hike. Aqua, J Doggles would be my would be my three. Really, you say J Doggles is still gonna be able to climb his way back up there, even though he didn't score as many points as uh, Lilith or Vision. I I I do think he can. I, I really do think that he uh, he's gonna be able to to climb his way back up there. But we will definitely see over the uh, next few weeks and see uh, who is actually the uh, the stand the standouts. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I, I Okay, so after last week, from what I see, if I had to do top three, I would definitely say Hike, uh, Jay Doggles, and probably, probably, I want to say Necro, honestly. I think Necro, I mean, even though he took it to the max and, you know, he, he, he played a really good opponent, 
I kind of have to give Necro third place at the moment. I mean, I know we've got a five-way tie for first, which is definitely going to be changed after this week. Um, we will have a, hopefully a little bit more of a dominance, um, you know, and obviously, you know, these competitors that are sitting in second or third place that, you know, have people ahead of them, they want them to get shut out. They want them to not score any points, you know? Um, yeah. So like sitting in monkey's standpoint, sitting in monkey's standpoint, uh, we, um, we, uh, as far as, what is going on? Um, we, uh, you know, he's he's sitting here looking five way tie. Man, I've got a good chance that I'm going to be moving up here soon. So it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It looks like we got two competitors that are actually ready to uh, to compete already. Um, so we just need a uh, we just need basically. Um, Patio to come in on this side. I did send the invites, and it looks like we're gonna start a little early, folks. The the action's about to come at you live here at the Taco Society League, week two. It's coming up. The crowd of the chat is going insane right now. We're we're getting ready. We are getting ready. A lot of a uh, lot of bantering going on in the chat. Oh, I bet there is a lot of. Uh... A lot of hype going on in that chat right now. So, anywho, Patio, we just need you to come in if you want to start early. If not, you still got some time. I know he was in that previous custom lobby. He made yeah, that exit at that I'm previous not, one. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, we all know how the rogue, uh, the rogue customs go. We all kind of have some issues with it sometimes. Um, but uh, Asian One sent me an invite to try and get the game rolling. So if uh, if Patio can possibly ready up or come in and we can get this match going, maybe Patio had to step away and get some coffee. Um, but uh, but we are we're we are sitting here. There he is. All right. So pregame matchup here. We've got Patio and Asian one. Uh, remember, uh, Rude Boy and Renegade will be flying into the map and jumping off the edge so we can make it one on one. Uh, Patio will have a bomb first. Uh, looks like and uh, yeah, what, what's your breakdown of this match? What do you think in terms of strategy? How is this gonna work? Do you think that these two individuals will Go head-to-head -head and fight each other right away. You think there's gonna be some sneakiness like what's the main play here? Um, I could honestly see these two I, I Could definitely say because this map is if you aren't familiar with this map This is a much smaller map than we've had last week for week one um so this de this map is definitely gonna gonna kind of force the uh, force the action a bit. So I I think you could possibly see uh, both competitors just going straight in. Um, they might do a little bit of sneaking to to kind of play a little bit of a mind game, but I think you're gonna see a lot of aggression in this matchup. All right, I agree as well. I think with the map being shorter, we're gonna uh, we're going to uh, um, see a lot of action and things go down. Um, the match is starting right now. We've got just a couple minutes right on time, right on schedule. Here we go. We got Patio at Asian One. Two amazing tacos in the Taco Society. Best friends. I mean, this is literally best friends fighting each other. Brothers right in the trenches having to be faced in this brutal death match. It's, it's, uh, man, I got chills, man. I, I don't know. Going up against my brother. Whew. You know, I mean, just just the love and connection between these two is, and now they have to fight to the death. It's just a, it's a really, really sad, sad, sad thing to say. But it happens, and this is why we're here, ladies and gentlemen. We're here for that prize. We want number one. It's not so much for the money. It's so much more for the bragging rights. And here we go. The the rogue is Ronin. And they must both select Ronin. Both select Ronin before we start. And it is going to be a matchup for the ages, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, oh my God. I, this is madness. Right now. This is madness. Just showed up and started saying hello to Aqua saying that she's not scared to face anybody already came in oh, wow already came she in 
confident. She's trying to lay that. She, she is laying that groundwork already. Stay to me, and you'll probably make it. I like it. I think. I think. I think this is madness. Will be in the next league as long as she has the time to do it, and that is going to be a fascinating sight to see. But here we go. We've got Asian one. We've got Patio Appliance. Two brothers facing each other to the death, and here we go. Alrighty, so on our end here, we're looking at looks like uh, looks like patio is kind of heading towards B a little bit. Being Asian, little is creeping, Asian is right now creeping the uh, the alleyway in between A and B. Yep, and patio. Oh, oh patio and them see each other. Them. Patio's over on A. Acted like he was gonna, he was gonna, he had the knife cocked back like he was gonna throw it and then pulled it back. Patio's peeking on him. Patio's seen Asian run away. Asian's looking at A, thinking that he's gonna catch him off guard. Patio is right behind, Patio's kinda behind him and doesn't know. Oh, and here's the zip line. Fight! Knife gets thrown! One fire! A roll! Oh, and he rolled into his knife! He rolled into his knife! Wow, that was, that was the first set of mind games right there, ladies and gentlemen. Asian missed the knife throw, but still got the kill he with it. Still him. got the kill with the knife. Wow. Wow. Insane. Absolutely insane. First, first round. All right, here we go. We've got round two. Asian one up on top here with three points. That was definitely a mind play. That was mine play at its finest absolutely all right so here we go oh man sinks because you have to like actually sit there for a minute <laughs> okay all right so asian one's sitting up on b patio yeah, he's, is he's doing that same trick he was he's watching in between both points yeah that's that's, that's a you, that's a good up. strategy that is a great strategy because now you can see the middle of it Asian one's watching that middle of the river as patio. He is sitting at B. He's sitting at B. He's almost at B. The question is, is he gonna go for it? Patio does have a gun this time. He does have an SMG. Patio is creeping. Wow, I did not expect the creeping game. I did not expect that. I did not either. I thought these two now, were just gonna go at it. Oh, Patio's got the knife cocked. Patio's got the knife cocked. I think Patio Asian sees him. Sure where, Asian does not know where Patio is right now. No. He no, I. Now he got. He, he sees him. Did he get? He, 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 I think he caught a. He got a glimpse. He got a glimpse. Knife throw thrown. Ooh. Knife throw was a off. Oh, Asian good strategy. Good strategy. Asian one blew up Patio's knife, but Patio's going around to A. Asian one's chasing him. Patio's going. It looks like he's going for bomb plant. I'm planting the bomb. Bomb is getting planted. Asian has no idea where he is. Patio's sitting back, creeping the doorway. Asian just pulled out his knife again. Bomb is planted, so Asian has to go get this bomb, or else he will lose the round. Asian. Asian has no idea where he is. Asian does not know where Patio is. Asian went. is Patio not is not counter. a clue. Patio may win this by bomb disposal. Oh, I think Asian a knife. His knife. He threw it his is. knife. He threw it on the opposite side. He's going for bomb defusal. Patio, Patio just lights him up. Doorway. Patio baited him in. Just baited him in. We're gonna see. I think we're gonna see a lot of that play today. That absolutely. That, that bait play is gonna happen. Bomb. Now definitely remember, you know, both both competitors they, you know, are technically supposed to stay in the plane before they go out um, to try and give us more time to die. So guys, please keep it fair and keep that in mind. I know it's hard because we're excited, but if you can guys try to stay in the plane until it pushes you out, that's a great deal. I appreciate that. All right. Oh, all right. Apparently, I jumped off too. Soon. All right. 
Looks like uh, patio or patio is going around with the bomb. Asian is right back in that Pat alleyway. Patio is going anything. wide. Patio is going wide while Asian's peeking in the water. Asian is definitely creeping down in Ooh. the middle. Looks like Asian might be Asian going with a little bit different tactics. I think Asian might know where he is or has an idea. Patty was going on the back side of the wall this time. He's playing a little bit more of an angle as Asian one may be going up the zip line. Yep. Asian yeah, he's going, going up the zip line. He is moving. He is hanging out right around B. He just opened up the door to B. Patio is pretty safe right now to be planting the bomb if he wanted to. Patio is going to plant the bomb. Patio is going to have a bird's eye oh, view of the Asian bomb. bomb was, Agent saw him from, from on top and did chuck his knife over there. Unfortunately, it was a very... It, it missed you, the mark. The I, think, I think... the. What do you think the play is here? I think the play may be to go around. Asian's definitely, yeah, it, it could definitely be a play. Oh, they Asian, fought! They met! Knife gets thrown on the, on the... And he got he the got knife it back. again. Wow, bomb, uh, bomb not being touched right now. And it looks like Asian just cleans up and takes out patio appliance. That second wow. attempt at knife throw was definitely, uh... A little better of a placement absolutely I mean you can use that knife any way you want as far as putting it down and if, and if anybody in if uh, everybody in chat is not familiar with Ronin's knife that it, it does work kind of like a proximity mine so as soon as an as soon as your opponent gets close to it it will go off no do you think we're gonna see any dirty tricks today with that knife it's very possible um, I, I'm, I'm still waiting to see if someone is going to get that direct hit with the knife. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we all we all know who who was able to get that aim down pretty well. And, you know, it's uh, it's it's scary when when it's a, when it's a great connection. Wow. OK, Asian is this is Russian. Great. This is different. Patio is patio is looking at the. Uh, the the peak spot that Asian was at, and patio is kind of going around a little bit. Asian's peeking. Asian's going a stealthy approach right now. Oh, Asian sees him. Asian just saw. He just nice threw a knife, knife throw. Almost hit him. Direct hit. Asian does have the high ground. He drops down though. We got a gunfight. The smoke. Oh, the smoke came into play. Oh wow, good. he played that trip. That was a very good smoke Asian grenade. Asian sees the knife. Asian he repicks up his knife. Patio does no long, don't no longer has a knife for the rest of this round. Patio lost the knife. Patio is yeah. kind of hanging out. Asian looks like he might be going around. He goes Asian back to A. His knife back. He goes back to A. They got 25 seconds to plant the bomb. If he doesn't plant the bomb, it's over. Asian's creeping around a back towards A. Asian will win by by round if if that bomb doesn't get planted. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, I don't think he's gonna get the bomb in, off in time. I think Asian's gonna win by by round. Bomb is not planted. Asian wins one point by round. One point for Asian. Wow. We had a gunfight. They thought some some steps. Something else. I did not. I think that. I honestly thought we weren't going to see a round win today. So that would technically only put Asian in seven points. That right was now. definitely a tactical round. That was there was a lot of various tactics going on with that that particular round. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you have to kind of wait a minute before you can jump off. It looks like because the map's smaller. Alrighty, here we go. We've got a, uh, we got. Patio going in, kind of going a long ways of A with Asian rushing straight through B, heading back Asian, to that high ground where a, that zip line is. Asian went straight to B, A to B, and peeking back around. 
Patty was going wide left over by the truck yard. Peeking behind the tower. Asians peeking the top. Asian did, did grab his knife out. And patio as well. Patio Asian's as thinking well. about finding that knife somewhere near him. I, I I do believe. Oh, he put the knife away. He pulled out his uh. He's pulled got out the, the AR. Asian Asian has yeah. the AR for Roman. That's yeah, I think. Dead. Oh, patio is going for a dirty play into the in the the uh oh, Asian in the window. Patio. Does Pat Asian see the what knife? Does Asian see the knife though? Is he gonna wrap he around and go through the window? He took out. He, he did see the knife. knife. He did see the knife. Patio was watching. He's trying to bait. He's trying to bait. Asian re picks up his window. knife, breaks the glass, comes out. We got a firefight. P in the corner. Patio with the. Oh, so close Ooh. with the knife though. Oh, the, so the close. That knife, we got a gunfight. We got Asian the smoke the coming smoke, in. Off. They're this, peeking. This smoke bomb was a little off. The bomb is, is rushing down. It's close. It is close. Who would have thought this is coming down to the wire? Oh my god, Asian they are both hurt. peeking back and forth. Who wants it? Who wants this fight? Asian Who wants this fight? Oh! And the time. bomb blows up. And Patio wins the round. Patio what kills him. Sound. Patio oh, kills him yeah. right in the nick of time. Right in the nick of time. What a fight. Ladies and gentlemen, did you not see that action? What a fight. That was an amazing gun wow, battle. Wow, that was insane. What a round. Kudos to both these competitors. That was amazing. And the crowd is just unbelievably shocked at how intense that was. I really thought Asian was gonna get that direct hit with that knife, but he was just a little off on it. All right, setting in for the next round, here we go. Asian is doing the same tactics he's done the last three rounds, rushing straight through B. He sees a peek at, a at Patio. And Patio is going around, and he's going to play the backside. Asian might need him. Asian might. Asian is sneaking. He's going to see him. He's baiting. He's waiting for the, the plant. Oh, he planted his knife in that wall. Straight back over there. He planted the knife in the wall. Will he make the jump? Will he make the mistake? I don't think Patio knows that knife is there. Asian is creeping around. I don't think very, he sees it. That knife, right that knife is blending in with the ring of the of the of the of play, of location A. That could be a very good move. Patio, patio is still scoping. Patio still Asian scoping. At patio. Asian, Asian knows, knows where patio, patio is. is. I don't think I don't think Patio knows where Asian is. Asian definitely knows where patio is right now i think asian yeah asian definitely knows where patio is patio wants to plant that bomb he's got 20 seconds he's got to think of what he wants to do he's got it they fought they got a good fight oh my god asian, and asian just guns him down gun asian just guns him down no way wow man definitely mind games okay we got the bomb switching now so now the asian one should have the bomb Wow, kudos to both you competitors. What do you think what do you think is going through their minds right now? Like what do you think? Like is this is is Asian, eight, I, 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 I quite honestly think Asian is probably gonna stick with the same tactic he's kind of been doing as as the defender. He's he's he seems to be becoming more of the uh the aggressor at this point. Well, it is a little bit different though, because now they're on opposite sides of the map. So patio, do you think patio will take that that peak strategy watching that middle or he, he he might he might take that uh aggression uh the you know the the more aggressive play Alrighty, so we got uh we got to patio yeah patio is like in that alleyway he is going right in the middle between a and b again peeking that middle 
patio is going for the sneaky approach again above the window with the knife. Agents creeping around back towards, uh, over towards B. Yep, and patio is going that way as well. Now, do you, what, what do you think the move is here? Do you <sighs> use the door or do you, do you risk I breaking think, the window or do you try to creep around to the open door on the other side? I think sound is a big deal right now because that sound of that knife of a beeping noise looks like Asian found the knife and he shot it. Hey. But he it's, did. it he does come down to like towards A. It does come down to sound, but uh, looks like uh, Asian is circling around. We got 49 seconds to plant the bomb. Just under a minute, we're going to Asian A. Asian is planting right now on A. Asian plants the bomb. Patio knows the bomb is there. Patio knows bomb. Yeah, Patio bomb is at A. Have his knife. Asian still has his knife in play. I think I think Asian is going for uh, oh they see I think patio oh patio didn't see him I thought he peeked his head but patio didn't see him patio may be going for bomb defusal bomb spotted Asian is definitely peeking that bomb Asian sees, he sees him. him oh my god he's up on top Bad knife bro knife throw we got a gunfight here we go patio needs to kill him quick it. patio bomb's knife gonna blow up by Asian. patio has a high ground patio eliminates him Patio, got to, get, patio has to get to that bomb. One sliver of wow. health left, ladies and gentlemen. That just comes down to the clutch right there. That is, that right there was absolutely insane. Patio took the tactics of going to the high ground, and Asian had no idea that was going to happen. So that was, that was way to know the map is what that was. Way to know the map. That was very good gunplay on, on Patio's part right there. Very, very great gunplay. Did you see this match coming to be this close? I, I, I figured it would be close, but th this is definitely closer than I thought it would be. This is back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. We've got we've got an Asian one just a hair lead here in 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 uh, as far as things are going down. Patio uh, Asian one would be sitting at Asian is going right back to that middle section like he has been all game. He is creeping over towards B. Patio's going a different tactic. Patio's behind him. Asian don't see him! Night throw! Night throw on the other Two side! Throws. We got Asian a gunfight early! Oh, who we wants it? Who wants here. it? It's coming down to shots! Who wants it? Who wants it? Who wants it? Peek in the corner! Patio's hurt a little bit. He's gonna back off and heal up a bit. Asian took out Patio. Oh, and, and just blindside takes him out. Not only does he take him out, he turns around and throws the bomb on his face and say, "You can take this. I'm done." Wow. wow. What a fight. What a fight. Absolutely. I love it. This match is definitely getting intense, bro. I don't know how you feel about it, but it's definitely getting intense. Yeah, that is an absolutely insane. Great, great matchup. And so... All right. Fusion is, is going back to that same tactic. Yeah, and Patio this time is going straight at him. Patio throws the knife right above Asian's head. Oh my god, we got a good fight already and just mops Whoa. the floor with him. Patio just shredded him. Doesn't even give him a chance. Doesn't wow. even give him a chance. I am pretty sure that was the fastest round we've had yet. That was so quick. That was well played by Patio. I think Patio is catching on to the uh, the tactic here by Asian. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. We've got the next match as far as uh, this round coming up. The next match on deck is going to be Monkey Tart and, and Necrospawn Gaming. Patio going wide right. 
Asian didn't go creep the middle like he did last time. He is, looks like he is going straight towards B again. But he did not hang out by that alleyway this time. And it looks like Patio is now wrapping all the way around. Like, I think Patio has him beat on the back side of the map right now. Patio is going to actually come up right behind him. Asian is planning on B. Asian bomb plan planning. Bomb. Patio cocks the knife. Patty Patio knows. <laughs> Patio that? loves bomb putting the knife on that window. But Patio turns around and shuts the door. Asian's got his knife out. He's got it cocked. And He's ready got it cocked. Roll. He puts it away, he pulls out his pistol, or no, pulls out the, the SMG this round. Oh, he just tries him from behind, doesn't even Brandon. see him! Doesn't even see him! Wow! You never Asian. Wow, what a strategic play there. We've got match point right now with, uh... I just realized, I didn't realize that, Pat, or that Asian had actually switched up his uh, primary for that round. That was so was fast. So fast. Absolutely fast. Crazy fast. Man. Now, we didn't talk about it earlier, uh, Root Boy, but which gun do you think is going to be the uh, the go-to? Oh, man, I, I don't. She, does that, she, has, yeah, she has that SMG, which is super fast, but it doesn't have the, the greatest of range, but she also has that AR available. Yeah, uh, Patio just launches knife all the way around it. He said, I'm done with this knife. There's, just, I just can't, I can't use it. And he's playing the sneaky tactics. Asian's kind of heading to, uh, to A. Um, but as you are asking me, I, I don't really know. I mean, in a f close range gunfight, the SMG is, is, is a good gun to use. But the damage on the other one is crazy. Bomb is been planted. Bomb is planted on the other side. Asian behind him. Asian throws the knife. The knife. Oh my god, we gotta go fight Asian pulls out the win. The Asian pulls out the win with just some better shot and it looks like he was switching it up and going to the uh, <laughs> the, uh the gun. Uh that was such a match. That was a great, great, great match, guys. What uh, a match. Congratulations. Nice and uh, the scores will be tallied up and be put out and finalized tomorrow. Um, yes, uh, chat asked why we keep killing ourselves because the spectate mode is not working properly. So this is the only way we can do the one-on-ones. Um, so we are currently doing it in this in this way. Um, it does look like we have actually both competitors ready for next match already. Um, oh, wow. So let's go ahead and get Monkey Tart in here. And we're going to get Necro in here. And we are going to see how this match goes down. Um, again, this was one of those matches where we feel that uh, Monkey Tart is the sleeper. Um, you know, you got to watch him. Uh, Necro is naturally good, but Necro doesn't play Ronin. Who's your pick here? Who's your pick for this match? Ooh. I... <clears throat> I don't know. Part of, part of me feels uh, feels I should go with Monkey here. I, I, I part of me just thinks that Monkey's gonna have the edge. Nice. And I also gotta say, um, I know there's some chat as far as uh, uh, subs and 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 uh, uh, bits. I appreciate you guys. All that goes to these competitors and and everything that they put into it. So I appreciate the the support on that. Um, also. Uh, what else do we have? I thought I seen something else, but I wanted to say, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so I think uh, when we're talking gunplay, like with close range, is that SMG the, 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 the place to be, or is it that long range damage? Like, what's going to happen? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I favor the AK or the, uh, the KA, um, whatever they call it in the game, but... Man, that was a that was an adjustment there at the end of that match. So, I don't, definitely a, a, an adjustment. I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's going to be interesting to see how this play out. We're going to get this match loaded up. Um, but in my terms of spell, I, I in terms of experience, the I I want to say Necro's got the uh, the edge on that. But Monkey, God, Monkey is he's a sleeper. And and I know that once the rogue gets announced on Wednesday, or sorry, no, on Fridays, there's a frenzy, and everybody's practicing. So 
Um, it, 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 I don't know. It's going to be an interesting match, and I can't wait to see it. It is definitely going to be a great match. <laughs> Thank you guys for the hype train. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are amazing. But Demolition. Whoa, man. This is just this is just this I I it's it, I mean, we all know when we woke up today, we knew what day it was. It was game day, you know. We smell we smelled smelled the gunfire in the morning. So uh this is just it's it's just uh it's so exciting. It is so exciting to see how Someone these these competitors are just handling the pressure and I know I talked to a bunch of other competitors a bunch of tacos that are in the league. It is a whole different ball game versus one on one versus versus uh you know four or six or however many you want in a party. Um it's a whole different environment because you can't blindside somebody and just hit them because they're fighting somebody else. Like this does come down to basically strategy, gunplay, and uh, again, we've we've seen mind games. You know, mind games are mind games are almost key. Yeah, you almost have to go with a a mind game type tactic to get that that tactical advantage on on your opponent because you can't rely on a team because you don't have one. All right, here we go. We've got Necrospawn Gaming, Monkey Tart. The chat is just blowing up, ready for this this ultimate matchup here. Let's go and see how it goes down. Oh my God! Here we go. All right. We've got uh, we've got we've got Monkey with bomb. Yep, Monkey with bomb first. And creeping, creeping over towards B. Oh, we might get a gunfight early, ladies and gentlemen. No. Oh. 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 Here we go. Door open. Oh, knife out. Direct hit. Direct hit. Direct hit. Direct hit from Monkey. Oh my God. Came out of nowhere. Oh my God! Our what first direct hit. We got our first direct hit with the knife. Oh my God! I mean, who would have thought? Who would have thought that someone who doesn't play Ronin at all just comes in and goes, "Watch this! Hold my beer and watch this!" <laughs> oh crap! And your announcer keeps forgetting to drop the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I was so shocked. You know, a, a, a legendary Ronin player would have just been so proud with that knife throw. It just, just so proud. He definitely would have been. Oh my God. All right, Necro is, is going straight towards B this time. And it looks like Monkey is kind of heading A. Do you think that woke Necro up, though? Like, wh what do you do? Like, I mean, you, I, I would think I would think that that's going to maybe slow you down just a bit. That's the first time we've seen the direct hit and we know how lethal it is. Oh, I think they see each other. Monkey's got a cock. Monkey's playing. They both missed their throws, but no one's walking through that door right now. Monkey's playing side tech. Monkey's aiming at his knife. Oh, Monkey! Monkey shot his own knife to blow him up! Monkey is on fire right now! Wow! Did Monkey shoot Necro's knife? No, Monkey shot his own knife. Monkey shot his own knife while Necro was on top. What a play! Wow, what a play! Look out, ladies and gentlemen! Monkey is come to play! Holy he is smokes! He not coming around as we like to say. He is definitely not. Oh my god! Wow! Monkey comes in and goes, uh, hike? J Doggles? Who? Who? Who is that? Monkey knows. Whoo! God! All right, Necro comes around, Necro peeks in the middle. He's going alleyway this time. Necro is creeping the alleyway right now. 
I mean, better watch out. Monkey is on point with this knife right now. Oh, that might have hurt him. He did do a missed throw. He did that do a missed throw. Miss throw. Oh, maybe Necro he definitely saw the missed throw and is definitely creeping around B right now. Oh, and Necro pulls off a stealth kill with his knife in the wall. Wow. wow. What a Monkey play. didn't even see it. Wow. We did say at the beginning of the uh, of this league today that that knife was definitely going to be a factor. It is definitely that, that is that has been a knife a, a kill with the knife in three straight matches or three straight wow. rounds. Wow, we are seeing knife play, ladies and gentlemen. We're definitely seeing knife play. I can't believe that just how much knife play we're seeing. I did not expect the the amount of knife play we're seeing in in this particular matchup. I really thought this was going to come down to the to uh, to a gunfight. Necro's creeping around B again. And it looks like uh Monkey is taking the left side of A. Necro is hanging out kind of chilling he thinks he's gonna come that way nobody he has no idea oh he shot the knife shot the knife necro, I think, heard the knife he is moving he is taking a beeline straight to a necro and that might also right there be a mind game there oh my god necro don't see monkey ne monkey is right behind him monkey oh we, we they see each other now Ooh. necro saw oh, necro shoots necro shoots Grenade. Oh, 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 and just like guns Necro him down. Wow, and it looks like Necro is sticking with that, that, that Spitfire sidearm. Yeah, I have not seen him pull out a primary weapon yet. We are absolutely That's tight. Interesting approach. We are absolutely tied up, ladies and gentlemen. We are tied up right now, um, and it has been back and forth. This is definitely a match for the ages. UK strong, baby. Two, two UK brothers facing it out. What a match so far, man. Every match. I mean, we've only had, this is two, but man. Ooh, this makes me think about what I'm going to say as far as uh, who may have the, the star match. Necro's already got his knife out. He is... Looking like he is playing. Necro throws he gets knife. The door open. Necro throws knife and monkey sees it. Necro saw the door open. Monkey. He his knife oh, he's coming around. Oh, he, he sees him. Window. He sees him. He's got the peak. Monkey needs to sit back and heal up a bit. And monkey pulls out his knife. Monkey plants the trap on the Necro side of the thing. In. Necro comes in and just guns him down oh, on the left side of the tree. Him. On the left side of the tree. Good job, wow. Necro. Wow. And Necro is definitely winning the gun battles. Yes, in terms of fighting with a gun, Necro looks like he's got that beeline, and I think Necro is now using the SMG versus that AK. So maybe the SMG is the way to go with that close of a fight. It definitely could be the, uh, the, the the correct play. And I, I keep messing up because I keep forgetting to drop the palm for for uh, <laughs> monkey. I feel bad. <laughs> this is madness. We've got emotes going on in the chat. Everybody's yeah, really excited. For already through his through his knife and okay. painted it right mm -hmm. over by A. Yeah, Necro's playing the stealth approach again with the knife. And it looks like Necro's creeping around. He is backtracking, going back towards... M Monkey goes direction. straight up the zipline. If, if this goes well, or if this goes away, they're going to meet each other right away. If you see each other, there is a knife throw. Necro takes the knife out. out. Knife. Monkey does not have a knife to Monkey play with. Monkey doesn't see Necro's knife. Down. Monkey doesn't see Necro's knife on the side there. It is right by that door. If he keeps going, he's gonna blow himself up. We got a gunfight now. We got a gunfight. He's peeking. He's peeking. He's peeking. 
Monkey needs a monkey needs to uh, to heal yeah, up a bit. To his primary. He switches to the SMG. Monkey's hurt. Monkey's hurt. Necro is also uh, looks like Necro is kind of backing off a little bit to Th heal himself. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds for the bomb. He needs to figure out what he wants to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. He peeks over. He, get, he gets the jump on him. Oh my god. We got seventeen seconds. Monkey's hurt. Oh my god! With all that gunfight! With all that gunfight! Wow. With all that gunfight! Monkey just taps him in the head with beeline shots! Absolutely be have we seen a bomb plant in this in this matchup yet? Uh I don't think so. I don't think there's been one bomb plant in this matchup. We're tied, ladies and gentlemen. 3-3. Three, three. Absolutely insane matchups going on right now. Stay close to me and you'll probably make it. Absolutely insane matchups. Don't take anything away from either one of these competitors. They are doing phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. UK, and you know, UK, they are tough as nails. They're UK strong, tough as nails. Do not take anything away from them. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. What a match. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. We've got a... Uh, we've got... Monkey this. plants his knife above the door. Trying to go for the sneak point. Oh my god, Monkey sees Necro already! Monkey's peeking. Necro does not know where Monkey is. Monkey knows Necro went towards A. But did he switch? Oh, Necro I think he peeked up. He peeked up. Monkey knows that knife's right around there. Necro's coming around. We're going to meet, ladies and gentlemen. We're meeting right now. Here we go. Oh, Necro sees Monkey creeping around that corner. Oh, we got to fight. We got to fight. A fight. Nice roll to the side. Does Monkey. Necro's going for bomb. bomb. Monkey's bomb taking the opportunity to try and catch him. It, it's it's low. Necro's Necro low. Fire. Monkey has needs to reload though. Monkey needs to reload. So does Necro. Necro reloaded. He's ready to roll. Oh my gunfight. God! Down to nine. And and Monkey's running out of time here with that bomb. Monkey's going sneaky approach, and he's I think he's gonna go for the. Is he gonna go for the bomb? We gotta oh, fight! Oh, oh. oh my god, Monkey, Monkey just Monkey guns him off. down! What a fight! Oh man, and Monkey comes out with a clutch, just pinpoint accuracy, and it's funny, because we were just talking how we thought Necro was winning the gunplay battle, but but Monkey is is shown proving us wrong. Wow, what a like, gunfight, ladies and gentlemen. It, it's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And yes, we do apologize. We do know that one side of the screen is a little bit more uh, forward than the other. We do apologize. That's just a network issue. There's no nothing we can do to actually change that. So we do apologize. But thank you guys for being here for all this exciting action and having a good time. All right, here we go. All right, Necro is moving straight in for for B. Looks oh. like uh oh, oh monkey's oh, going for another sneaky approach. Nitro on A. Oh, we got a fight. Saw him. He saw him. Here we go. That knife is ticking. He can hear it. He's staying away from it. Not a very good Wow, they both shot Necro. each other's knife. Oh, uh, you know, he shot his knife. Monkey still has his knife hidden up in the door. Now, with knife placement, do you think that kind of gives Necro an idea where he is? Enemies have armed the bomb. From They're my taking the bomb. With that knife, you can hear that knife when it actually Oh my god, over the top! Over the top, Monkey, Monkey has him peaked! 
Necro Necro's running, Necro's running. Very last minute. Monkey's trying to catch him off. Grenade throw. A wicked bounce. Monkey's pushing in. Necro's, Necro's got a better angle. Right Monkey is really hurt. Monkey's hurt. He needs to heal up. He needs to heal up. Necro's coming around on the side. They're playing the game. Monkey's running out of time with bomb. Necro might be stolen. Necro guns him Necro down. Gun we are metal. sitting at 4-4, ladies and gentlemen. You're sitting at 4-4. Yeah, with, with that experience with that knife, you can't, as the, uh, the opponent, when somebody deploys that knife, you can hear it when it activates. Well done, boys. Well done. This is just coming down to the wire. Like, what a matchup. This is definitely a phenomenal matchup right here. What a great matchup. Hey boys, we're definitely killing it right now. And the and the chat is going wild right now. He they are loving everything they see. This is this is a pay-per-view match all in itself. Alright, Monkey's taking a different approach this time. Monkey's going right. And Necro went straight to B. Necro is going straight B again. It's really interesting because they run off and they kind of push a little bit and then they go into the sneaking stance so okay and breaks the window at B throws the deployed his knife right there by the uh, the door on monkey's side of B okay Necker's on the side I think monkey seen him monkey seen him jump in that window Monkey's got yeah, his knife cocked. Plant. Bomb is getting planted. Monkey just threw the knife. Direct hit with the knife. Direct hit. Monkey still gotta go. He still gotta go defuse that bomb. Up. Still gotta defuse. Let's see if that knife will go off. Oh my god. Oh my that god. Is indirect hit in this two. matchup. Two. Not one, but two. Monkey says, "Look who knows how to play Ronin." Just look. Wow. The UK is killing it right now. This is the This is awesome, the awesome ultimate matchup. UK grudge match right now. God, what a match. What a match. Wow. It doesn't get much closer than this, ladies and gentlemen. This is just a fight. This is, this is, hey, I know we're bros and I love you, but I am better than you type talk right now. That is what this is. All right, Necro looks like he's gonna change up his approach. It looks like he is moving towards A. And it looks like a monkey is taking the stealth approach and the high ground approach. Monkey sees Necro and has no idea. Is Necro gonna peek back out? No, Necro's going <laughs> around. Monkey Necro's is just determined. Knife right, right at the uh, on that barricade, right at the front of uh, of A here. Oh, monkey seen him. Monkey seen him. Monkey had the high ground and got a peek. Necro monkey. still has no idea where monkey, monkey is right now. Monkey wants this knife throw. You can tell. He wants this knife throw. Oh my god. Oh, Necro's wrapping back around. M Necro taking very cautious peeks right now. Monkey kinda monkey got it. Monkey's got a peek! Monkey! Monkey's gonna throw! Monkey just hits him again! With a sneaky approach! Wow! Nicely done on monkey's end. Oh my god monkey. It was sneaky. I think that's a textbook out of Harless's playbook. She's usually the sneaky one Wow What a match ladies and gentlemen what a match Monkey sitting right, on max it. point. We got max point here Definitely, def monkey. we definitely called it before. We did say uh, Monkey would have been the underdog per um, experience-wise, but then Necro does not play play Ronin, so.
This is just absolutely insane. M monkey, monkey breaks the glass, and that could be a sound factor, and opens the door. Monkey's getting a little cocky. Monkey says, "Come and get it, baby. Come and get it." I want you to. He, he, Monkey wants Necro to know where he is. Bomb is getting planted. Bomb is planted. Necro goes with a with a knife plant right next to the bomb. Uh oh, Monkey's got that. Monkey comes back. Monkey had through the grenade. Monkey's got the knife throw. Monkey's trying to trap him. Ooh, we've got the high ground. Knife throw. We got to fight. This could be game, ladies and gentlemen. Monkey has got him trapped. Heal. Necro needs the heal. And Monkey shuts Monkey him down. Does he see the knife? He sees the knife. And Monkey with a win. What an amazing match, ladies and gentlemen. Taking nothing away from the competitors. That was absolutely just insane. Well what done. Match well done. Well done. That was awesome. Great show, you two. Monkey pulling off the win. Phenomenal, phenomenal match. Can't wait to see more. Heading back in, we have uh, we have uh, Frenchie and Heartless up next. So we are gonna bring these two in here. Did you expect to see three direct hits oh, with the knife? Oh my back? god, no! Absolutely not. That right there was absolutely insane. Just insane. All right, we have Frenchie and Heartless here getting ready to come into this match. I think this is going to be another great match. This is my, what I thought would be match of the week. Uh, Heartless does have a little bit of experience playing with Ronin. Frenchie doesn't really play with Ronin. I know he's been practicing a little bit, but we can never count Frenchie out. Frenchie is always really well at making adjustments. Heartless, she's sneaky. And, you know, the thing that may affect her just a little bit is I think the grenade throw is gonna a little bit of a uh, affect her play style because of the fact that she usually plays a sticky grenade or the fire grenade and she's usually on point, but this grenade bounces. So she's gotta yeah, make that adjustment a, a little bit. This is definitely a different a different grenade style than uh, than what she might be used to. So it definitely could affect her. But like you said, this is definitely gonna be a, a, a great matchup and Again, you cannot sleep on, on Frenchie. Frenchie is very good at adjusting on the fly. Absolutely. All right, let's go ahead and start this match, ladies and gentlemen. Heartless Slayer, Oi Oi Frenchie. They love each other so much. They really do. And uh, it's a shame that, you know, they got to see each other on this battlefield. But, you know, this is what it's all about. It's bragging rights, baby. It's, it's, it's for the league. This is this is the first UK United States matchup right here, ladies and gentlemen. It is UK versus US. Who's your picks, crowd? It's time to get excited. Man, I can't believe Monkey with his accuracy on the knife throws. Like I can just not believe that me as being a very very favored Ronin fan I am very very proud of Someone all of that me. and monkey being the first to be pulling off not one not two but three direct knife hits absolutely phenomenal absolutely amazing Guys, if you do Thank like you definitely going to taking a plage out of the uh out of uh one particular competitor that uh we have definitely played with 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 the with the with the knife throwing. Heads down, folks. Also, guys, if you like what you see and you like the action and you may want to get in on one of these, uh we do do this with the Taco Society, sponsored by the Taco Society. Link is now in the chat. Join up. It is the people's discord. We take care of everybody, no matter what you stream. And it's all about love and tacos. 
And here we go. The match is on the way. We've got Heartless Slayer. We've got Oi Oi Frenchy. And it is about to start. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. And it looks like Again. he beelined. Beeline straight for it. I seen I seen somebody already running. Already running. I've got Heartless is Frenchie's going right around that alleyway between A and B. Frenchie's going for B. Frenchie is going for a trick knife kill covering that door. Covering that door. Heartless knows the bomb is planted. She is making a beeline straight to B. Heartless knows B. Frenchie is pulling the taxes behind the truck. Does Heartless see that knife? She definitely hears it, but I don't know if she, she sees gonna... it yet. Yeah. She goes into there. She punches the glass. Ooh, we've never seen that strategy yet. That did draw Frenchie out a little bit. The knife was thrown. Shoots it. Heartless has to make a move oh, or that bomb. Him up top of the tree. Oh my god! Heartless takes him out! Heartless goes for what bomb defusal with pinpoint accuracy and, and gets the bomb. bomb send his arm. And Heartless wins round one. That strategy on breaking the glass, that was amazing. Way to use the sound to your advantage. There was def and her accuracy with the with, with those shots. Those were all headshots, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like after you can't teach that shooting. You cannot teach that shooting. All headshots. It looks like the crowd is a little bit behind Heartless. Everybody loves everybody, but the crowd is a little bit behind Heartless right now. It looks like. <laughs> All right. Go, go Mac. Go right behind the barricade in between A and B again. Ha okay, and Frenchie went with the smoker grenade this time. Artless purchased the uh, the AR for this round. Okay, and and Frenchie's still working with the Spitfire sidearm. Artless is playing her <laughs> sneaky game. And Heartless did not, just so everybody knows, Artless did not purchase the. Uh, a grenade of any kind. She's only working with the knife in the primary right now. Frenchie's coming around. Frenchie's coming she around. Sees oh, Heartless sees Frenchie. Heartless going sees Frenchie. Going Frenchie's for going kill. for the bomb. He just misses. It just misses with the knife. Watch your step. Ooh, we got a gunfight. Heartless needs to reload. Heartless needs to reload. Watch out, knife on the right side. Ooh. Ha Heartless that just blind close. firing. Wow, Heartless, Heartless seen that knife. Heartless picked up her knife. She has her knife Bomb back. is planted on B. Heartless don't see Frenchie. Heartless don't see Frenchie. Oh, she got a peek at she him. She got a peek. Right by that truck. Oh, she's got the knife cocked too. What do you do She's here in the situation? the situation? She's running out of time. Oh, fakes the plant. I'm going back at it again. What's the play here? What's the play here? Do you go for bomb? I think you gotta try to take out the opponent here. I think you shut the door and take out the bomb. Oh my god! Oh, Fritchie's going around! We got a, 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 a fight! Running out of time. She's got to go for bomb. She has to go for it. All opponents eliminated. And wow. we are sitting at 1-1. One, one. I believe that was bomb win. That looked like bomb win to me. The, we will the bomb have to, did explode. Bomb yeah, did we will explode. have to go back to official results. But I believe that looked like bomb win. Yeah, I, I do believe that was a bomb win for Frenchie there. We will talk to the competitors about it as well. But I'm pretty sure that was bomb win. What a standoff. You're right. You are right. That was a definite standoff. Alrighty. And uh, coming in. They're waiting on the plane. 
They're doing really good about waiting on the plane. Harless is going straight in. Oh, she's creeping that alley right by B this time. Frenchie's going for the sneaky approach. Frenchie's kind of creeping also up. Sneaking right, right now. Harless looks like he's kind of favoring B a little bit. Frenchie has the knife. Frenchie, don't see. Nice roll. Frenchie off on the knife throw. She takes it out. Bomb is getting planted. Putting pressure. Frenchie oh, goes to the side. Frenchie running away. Oh, but he's I think Harless seen run. her. What's gonna happen here? What's gonna happen? Frenchie's going around. Going for the smoke plant. Oh my God! What a throw! But Harless cuts him off. Harless knows. Harless We're backs off. off again. We got another standoff fight. Harless with pinpoint Heartless accuracy. Jump this time though. Frenchie turns around, throws the smoke, tries to catch Harless off guard, but Harless did not fall for it. Wow. Wow. What? I told you. Did I not tell you, ladies and gentlemen, this may be match of the week. This may be match of the week. Bomb has been dropped. Wow. What a match. What a match. God. Frenchie almost hit Heartless with that knife throw, though. He was just a hair off. Just missed it. Do you it. think that during the week, people were practicing on how to roll away from that knife or not, you know, dodge that knife because it's such a key factor? It is. I, I definitely think people have been working on the uh, how to avoid that knife. Okay, we have, uh, we've got Heartless peeking in and we've got Frenchie heading straight to B. Heartless is Heartless has got the knife out. She's looking for the knife Ooh, right above Heartless the door. Is... Right to your side. I love this. Oh man. Does Frenchie see that knife though? Fren I think Frenchie does. I think Frenchie does, but Heartless has the blind side on him right now. He doesn't know it. She knows the, the glass got broke. Oh, she sees him. She She's seen him. him. She almost him. got him. Frenchie nearly escapes. Nearly. Heartless oh, on chase. Back towards a. Heartless on chase. Bomb gets planted. Bomb's arm. What's the play here? What's the play? Do you keep an eye on the bomb? Heartless has. Heartless comes in. Heartless. Oh, doesn't have as good as an angle. Throws the smoke grenade. Heartless is trying to get him down. Frenchie nearly Frenchie escapes twice could. in one match. Oh, Frenchie's got a better angle. Harless may have a shot. Harless coming up. Oh, Frenchie guns are down. Well played. Frenchie. Wow. Frenchie barely wow. got out of that. There was two times where I thought it was over. Two times where I thought it was over. Wow. Taking each other to the limit. What a good play for, for Frenchie to run when he had to, man. That's when you know when to hold him and know when to fold him. And he was folding and he booked out of town. Wow. What a play. Taking nothing away from Harless. She played it perfectly. And just like that, it can be any given Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Any given Sunday. Anything can happen. All right. We've got uh, we've got Heartless uh, peeking again, and Frenchie on the left side. Frenchie coming in, heading towards A. Frenchie seen Heartless. Heartless. I don't think Heartless seen Frenchie. I don't think so. She, I don't think she did. Oh! Oh, now she sees him. Got a long throw! He's got it cocked! Got a long Looking throw! He's got a long throw! Oh, oh, oh! Harless with the high, high ground. ground here. What is Frenchie gonna do? 
Frenchie threw it on that wall. Heartless, though. Heartless knows Ronan. Heartless knows the beeping sound of that knife. Heartless sees him. Heartless over the top. Heartless is just waiting for the throw. Will Heartless... Oh, good smoke. Frenchie going around a B now. She hears that knife. As... She definitely sees it. She shoots the out. knife. Shoots the knife. Goes back around. They it's both shoot their knives. They're creeping over there. They're both they're both knifeless. This is coming down to a gunfight. Frenchie needs to plant the bomb. He's running out of time. He does only have Frenchie plants five the bomb. Seconds. Gets the bomb, bomb armed. Planted. Bomb armed on B. Frenchie takes the outside approach, baiting Heartless. Heartless is going up alleyway. Looks like she's gonna take the zip line. Oh, this might be trouble, might be trouble, might be trouble! Oh! And, jump. and that was just knowledge of the ma map, ladies and gentlemen. Knowledge of the map. Frenchie comes around and makes a clutch play. Wow, what some plays here. What some plays. Wow. I have the bomb. Alrighty, here we go. Man, Heartless had the lead. Frenchie just pulled away a little bit here, but it's still anybody's game. Next round, Bomb switches sides. Can she do it? Make it even. As Frenchie flies in, Frenchie sitting at the basketball court, heading a little bit to B. She's peeking B. She's waiting to see what's going to happen. She's, she's peeking B. She's the got windows. the She's got the outside she's looking at those windows and the door. And that door opened she up. The door open. The door opened up. They are filling each other out. Heartless being sneaky smoke. and grabs the knife, throws a smoke to catch him off guard and goes around. Oh, Frenchy starts pushing. Back yeah, Frenchy starts pushing. Oh, Heartless has... Bomb. bomb is getting planted. Heartless has that knife cocked. Comes around the side. Don't see her. Don't see her. Oh, and oh, Frenchie guns her down. I think that just came down to a little bit of a too much sneakiness. Is all that was. That 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 hurt Heartless yeah. there. Yeah, that definitely hurt. That was definitely not the... Uh... The good well, approach there inside. on that that's on that matchup. That's okay. It, now the 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 uh, the 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 bomb changes sides. Some people believe that if you have the bomb, if you have the bomb, you have the control. Let everyone stay safe. Well, I really. definitely can see that. I, I was definitely in that. Uh, I'm definitely on that side of things. I, I, I think having the bomb, you have that ability to kind of dictate what, what what's going to happen here so all righty here we go what a what a match guys what a match this is actually the the score says way different than how the match goes the gunplay the the it's still no direct knife throw yet I mean, Heartless is pretty good at pulling one of those off every so often, but there has not been a direct hit. And that can change the game at any time. That knife throw is, is, is crucial. Okay, Heartless is, or Frenchie is playing the sneaky knife approach right now. So far, it has not worked. Heartless, Heartless is, is definitely taking her time. It looks like she's moving towards B here. She is heading towards B. Heartless is definitely and and also when bomb switches sides they get down to their Spitfire sidearm and again kind of before the match we told you that Frenchie does know how to make adjustments during play like and this definitely shows definitely shows He's Heartless right. opens the door to B but does not go there. She is backtracking towards a There's so much going on in 47 seconds to plant the bomb Heartless might be trying to play some mind games with Frenchie here. Frenchie is worried right now. Frenchie does have the high ground. Oh. Does Heartless, Heartless see the knife. knife? Does Heartless hey. see the knife? Take, takes it out. Heartless sees the knife. 
That does give an indication of what's going on. Bomb is planted. Frenchie thinks the bomb is at B. Frenchie thinks the bomb is at B. All right, this has got the has the high ground in the peak on that bomb right now. Frenchie thinks the bomb was at B. I mean, at, yeah. Oh. All right, looks like she is. Oh, Frenchie's she's got the got, got the sidearm going right in the for the bomb right defusal. Knife, Frenchie's double checking to see if he I sees the bomb. Fight. Frenchie's going for dog defusal right now. Oh, he she Good missed fight. the throw. Just barely misses the throw. Frenchie's got to figure out what he wants to do. Hustle, stall in time. Oh Hustle wins my bomb defusal. Heartless gets the bomb defusal. I saw Heartless, up. sorry, Heartless wins my bomb defusal. Heartless, man, I got to stop doing that. God dang it. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Welcome, welcome chat. Uh, this is our Rogue Company League. I appreciate you all for being here. I do apologize. I will not be acknowledging the chat too much as far as this is for the competitors and who is in, but welcome Raiders. I appreciate you all being here. Prodigy, thank you so much. Shout out to you. Alrighty, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna come over and beat you. <laughs> yeah, it slipped. It slipped. All right, uh, here we go. Um, Frenchie is peeking B as as Heartless is kind Heartless of in the middle. In that alleyway. God, that was crazy. Heartless winning by bomb defusal is huge. All right. She is sneaky taking approach. that stunk approach towards B. Yeah, Frenchie is favoring B right now. Frenchie is on both sides of the spectrum. Now he's looking at A. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting on how this is going down right now. Frenchie is definitely, definitely looking around, and he's kind of, I think he's getting a little worried. Right, Heartless is going, looks like Heartless is going for the plant right on B. Enemies planted the bomb. And he plants right, it in planted. right on door Ooh, side. With a different approach here. Right in the she open. The door, put a knife on the bomb, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that is sneaky. That is so sneaky. But he opened the door, planted the bomb, put a knife on it, and then Will this work? that door. Will it work? Will it throw Frenchie off guard? Cause technically in. Oh, oh. We gotta We're fight. We gotta fight. We got the knife. Up. Oh, misfires the throw. Our list is moving in. Frenchie has to figure out what Frenchie. he wants to do. Oh my god, the knife did blow up, but did not kill Frenchie! Another! Oh my god, French! Wait, wait, did she win by bomb? It's it, She I won by bomb! Her, I think the game is giving her credit for That's the bomb That's two win. wins for bomb dis, dif, uh, explosion by Heartless! Wow! And I tell you what, Frenchie got really lucky because that knife exploded when he approached the bomb, but did not kill Frenchie. Really lucky on that. Absolutely just crazy. We are even up. We are tied, ladies and gentlemen. We are absolutely tied with bomb disposal. I mean, what a match. Heartless is playing like she has no heart. It's in the name. It is in her name. She says, oh, she's I. Going with the, stealth, stealth, the stealth approach going long way to A. She wants to prove that she is the number one Ronin out here on this field. Okay, we've got Frenchie. He's peeking the statue. Heartless is going around to A. Frenchie's trying to catch her off guard with a little bit of the high ground tactic. As Heartless is creeping. Slowly. Heartless Slowly is making her way a long way. Heartless is absolutely creeping. Do you think this makes Frenchie a little paranoid? 
I would definitely think he's getting a little paranoid here. Frenchie has because when they're when they're crouched like that, you cannot hear that person's footsteps at all. And and the thing about Ronan uh, that we all know is she can't be detected on radar, so that gives her even more of a silent approach. All right. Oh Bomb my God! I planted on egg. And not only is it planted, it's wide open plant. It is a wide open plant. Do you do you do you peek the bomb? In the corner. She's oh, trying to get eyes on that bomb so that she can try I to pick it off. I don't know if that's the best best angle for it though. Oh, she's coming around! Frenchie's coming around! Frenchie doesn't see her. Are we gonna get a direct hit with the knife? He she just misses the throw. Picks the knife up again. Guns her down. Hey, Frenchie guns her down. Wow, like if if she would have pulled the trigger on that she would have definitely had him Wow Harless is sh Harless is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Frenchie you, you you think that that gunfight came down to the fact that this, that she did miss that knife throw I, I think so I really do um that knife throw was just a hair trigger off with that being said and also on top of that Frenchie ran right by her and didn't even see her. So, do you think in that situation, would have been faster to just shoot the gun or throw the knife? I, I honestly think that with accuracy-wise, shooting him in the back, you got to take the gun play. But I, I, I definitely think you should have gone. We, we, I, I know I would have definitely gone with the, uh, the gun fight there. I mean, it is a my. It's just, a, I would say, a little minor mistake. But all in all... Well done to both of you guys. All right. Frenchie is going straight waterside. We're going to meet early. We are going to meet early. Frenchie sees or Frenchie goes straight waterside and has an has an idea cuz she's coming right around. Frenchie's going to Frenchie's got that corner peaked. Oh, Frenchie see sees her. Frenchie got the jump. Frenchie yeah. hits her a couple times. Harless rethinks strategy. Heartless heals up. Heartless. You got the jump on him. Knife throw. Oh, knife throw. Oh, just a, just barely. I mean, if if Heartless had a second more, a second more, she would have unloaded that knife, and it could have changed the outcome of that. We're down six. We got six four here. Frenchie is playing very well. Heartless is playing very well. Maybe one minor mistake as what's pulled this away, and that may be the mistake that that reflects the outcome of this match. Absolutely, it could one definitely be little easy. little minor mistake. Little minor mistake. Alrighty. So here we go. We've got. Frenchie goes straight, straight river again. Harless going for the sneaky approach oh. on the outside. Yep, she's taking the long way to A again. But she is definitely creeping. She is definitely taking her time. I mean, this is still anybody's fight. I have no doubts that Harless can come back and win this. Absolutely. Sneaky. Like you said, it, 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 this knife could be... could completely flipped the tide on this matchup right now and the crowd is just electrifying right now on the action F Frenchy 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 went to B he's really thinking Harless is gonna push B turns around goes and double checks hey Frenchy sees her oh. Frenchy's got a better Heartless angle also saw him. Heartless saw him she's Heartless goes knife, knife throw deployed. he's wrapping around trying to Trying to flank Frenchie here. Watch your step. Oh, oh Frenchie with a knife Frenchie throw. Frenchie with a knife she throw on it. the end. Will she peek that door? She knows it's there. She's seen the flash of the red. We've got 18 seconds. 18 seconds. Oh, Good smoke. move. Good roll. 11 seconds. Harvis has to plant that bomb or she's going to lose. Harless gonna play the ball. Har oh, three, wow. two, 
And Frenchie wins by by bomb. That is not how I expected that match to end like that. But can't take nothing away from them. They played valiantly, and it was a heck of a match. Well done awesome to match. both you guys. Heartless, well done. Frenchie, well done. That was a match for the ages. Honestly, I thought that was just a phenomenal match. That was an absolutely phenomenal match. Absolutely phenomenal match. You cannot teach the gameplay there. Uh, honestly, I chalked that up to just one little hairline mistake. That's all it is. Yep. I think. One mistake. I think that, that, outcome. that one little knife throw was just absolutely crucial. Absolutely crucial. Next up on deck, we've got Hustle Dice and Miss Killer Bunny. I don't see Miss Killer Bunny on yet. We got Hustle Dice there. Miss Killer Bunny, load up so we can get you in. God, that was absolutely insane. Official results will be uh, will be posted um, tomorrow, um, as long with uh, hopefully matchups. Uh, Miss Killer Bunny, we need you. We need you to log in so we can get this match in order. That was a great, great match. You guys played amazing. We are just waiting for Miss Killer Bunny to log in. Come on, Miss Killer Bunny. We're waiting for you to log in so we can get you in here. God, that was such a great match. Phenomenal match. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal match. That was insane. That match definitely lived up to the uh, the hype that we were talking about at the beginning of the uh, this league this week. That definitely lived up to the hype. It was definitely a back and forth matchup. Yes, yes. Not taking anything away from that. Like I said, Heartless played phenomenal. Frenchie, he's got that adjustment, man. Those adjustments are just absolutely crucial. Um, hold on. We got Miss Killer Bunny inviting me. No, Miss Killer Bunny, you need to come into my game so we can get this set up. Okay, and we're doing re-invites now. Doing re-invites. All right, so what... It, uh, Hustle, if you could jump out of that game and then come back in, that'd be great. I can't invite anybody. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this lobby... I'm gonna end this lobby. Everybody, make sure you're not in a lobby, so I can so I can invite you guys in. Make sure you're not in a lobby, so we can get this match in order. All right, hustle. We're waiting for you now. Wait. Hustle the invites there, if you got the invite. Even even the chat is saying congratulations to everybody in there. What do you think of this matchup going on? What do you think of this matchup? We've got uh, Hustle Dice, Miss Killer Bunny. Again, we've talked a little bit in the pre-show. Um, Miss Killer Bunny here uh, has a little bit more experience with the game, but doesn't really play Ronin. And we've got Hustle Dice is fairly, I would say, the rookie of of the Taco League, and doesn't you know? But she's not a, a not a not a rookie to third person shooters. What do you think, Renegade? I I don't know. This one's definitely going to be a tight one. Uh, 
but I might have to give the edge to Hustle with the uh, with gunplay, uh, with with, her, with the way that she plays and some of the other third person shooter games that she does play. I'm definitely gonna have to give the edge to uh, to Hustle Dice with uh, with the gunplay. I, I think Hustle Dice is gonna have the edge there. I think it is gonna come down to precision um, shooting, uh, knife throw. Um, I don't know how accurate they're going to be with the knife throw. They may play more mind games with knife throw as far as sticking in the wall, but I'm not 100% sure on how the accuracy was with the knife throw. So far, Monkey is the only one that has really shown dominance as direct hits with my knife throws. Um, but yes. I would clearly say Hustle is definitely the underdog um, in the in this in this whole league. And uh, these two are really neck and neck down there at the bottom of the, of the leaderboards. But... This could all change. This right here, this match. Who basically who's gonna be who's gonna be in last place after this week? So we'll see. If they're scratching and fighting. But here we go. Hustle dice. Save some people. Or she Miss Killer Bunny. Here we go. And the fans are just absolutely loving, loving the gameplay and the matches. So, so far, three epic matches. Yes, absolutely. The chat is just pleased with the matches. So, here we go. Let's try not to get shot while being badass, you know? Bomb's been dropped. Miss Killer Bunny has the bomb first. Hustle Dice. He is going to be defending here. Going to be defending. Remember, the first round with bomb normally is just the Spitfire sidearm. So, that right there, who is a better shot with it? Everybody is just anticipating the action. Looks like, uh... Miss Killer Bunny has the bomb heading straight over to B, but taking a wide approach to it as Hustle. Oh. Hustle's kind of creeping right over by A. Hustle's creeping, and Miss Killer Bunny went to break the glass and now heading to A. Hustle might get a, a peek on her right away. Hustle goes back to B. Miss Killer Bunny plants the bomb and is going to take the back end approach, but she did plant the bomb in a kind of an odd angle. As Hustle, Hustle's looking for the bomb, breaks the glass, doesn't see the bomb. She's going to head back to A with with the knife that is stuck in the uh, in the in the wall. I don't know. Oh, looks like she does Hustle. have a knife. Oh, she's, she's got her peeped. We've got a gunfight. Oh, my God. And beats her with the exploding knife on the end of the truck. Wow. Sneaky, sneaky. That's what you call that. Sneaky, sneaky. That is what you call that. I think that just right there that play goes down to Hustle needs to just kind of listen a little bit for that beeping sound and be a little bit aware of that knife because that knife is literally like a trip mime. Yep. Miss Killer Bunny does uh does does come ahead and uh and uh With, All right. with the round. Hustle is creeping B here. Hustle's creeping B. Miss Killer Bunny is coming to A. Hustle is. Like like Miss Killer Bunny is playing the trip mime game. I'm planting the bomb. Miss Killer Bunny is playing the trip mime game. Don't let them disarm it. Oh, Hustle saw. Miss Killer Bunny run over behind the wall where Miss Killer Bunny was at last round. Oh, she's looking for that knife throw. Oh my god, would that be an amazing play if she pulls that off? 
just misses nice with that try. nice Peek throw. Nice try, peek in the side. Peek in the side. Oh my god, pinpoint oh, accuracy. All headshots. Miss Killer Bunny definitely, definitely uh, takes her out. That was just fancy shooting there. That was fancy shooting. Bomb dropped. Like we said, Hustle definitely the underdog, but I tell you what, from last week's game, she has definitely improved just by knowledge of, of movement. Easily. Absolutely. Everybody's cheering on Hustle. Everybody knows she's the underdog. Everybody wants to see her do well. Miss Killer Bunny keeps playing those sneaky knife throws, but that was one and one. Right through B, and it looks looks like she's trying to wrap around. We're gonna get a gunfight right away. Bunny. We're gonna get a gunfight right away. Oh, I thought he seen her. I thought she seen her. She's got the knife throw. She's playing the sneaky bomb again. I'm planting the bomb. Playing B. Bomb is armed. Does Hustle see the knife? Yeah. Hustle did see the knife. the knife. Hustle knows. Hustle still has not bought a gun yet, though. Let's keep that in mind. Hustle has not bought a gun yet. Good throw. Good throw. Take, take, go for bomb. Do you go for the bomb? The knife protecting a little bit? I would definitely think so. Oh. Miss Killer Bunny's hurt with those shots. The bomb's gonna blow up. We gotta fight. They both had to reload. Thanks, Hustle guys. gets it, but she did Hustle not get the. Uh... Barely, barely, barely. She gets the kill, but bomb blew up. That's going to be one point for Miss Killer Bunny. Oh, Hustle just ran out of time. That's all that happened there. Oh, man, that's tough. That's a heartbreaker. That is absolutely that really a heartbreaker. Is. Hustle Hustle had Miss Killer Bunny's number and just ran out of time. That's a good play on, on Miss Killer Bunny to stall out like that. But, man, that was just it was heartbreaking. But Hustle is playing very well. Very, very, very Hustle, well. Looks like she's taking the long way and wrapping she's around. She's taking the wrong way. Hustle did buy a gun this time, though. Hustle did go with the AR. I'm planting the bomb. Bomb's active. Don't let them disarm it. Bomb is armed at A. Hustle is taking the Hustle's long way Hustle's on the other side, the though. Hustle's on the other side. Hustle's gonna come up behind her. Oh, man. Hustle, you gotta push. You gotta push. You're running low on time. The sneakiness is not helping. You gotta push. You gotta go to that bomb. Hustle, you gotta go to that bomb. Miss Killer Bunny's gonna win by bomb explosion. Oh, she sees it. Right behind, behind her! Did not know she was behind Kills her. her! She's gotta go to the got bomb! It. Go defuse the bomb! Watch out for the Watch out for the, the, the bomb! The bomb! The bomb! The bomb! Here we go! Uh, uh, defuse it! Defuse it! Oh, I hope she gets. Does she get it? Does she get it? And she gets it just in time. Hustle! Pulls out the sneaky shot approach and gets the bomb just in time. My heart was racing. Oh my god. I thought she was going to have that incident where the bomb was going to blow again. Oh, I got to take a breath, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. Oh. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. I don't know if you all had goosebumps there, but I sure did. Wow, we got 3-1 here.
Hustle, I think, has has a handle on what she wants to do now. She's got a gun, which made all the difference in that play. Wow. Hustle's right. watching. Yeah. Hustle's watching B. She's watching B, but kind of still. She can't really see A, but she has an idea of where A is. So. And I think she just seen the door open. Watch your step. She did see the door open. She I just seen the door open. Hustle's got a bomb. Get the knife on the back side of B. Knife on the back side. Gunfight, Smoke. and she takes her out! Hustle's just gotta go defuse the bomb! And she has oh more my than god, time and just control. like that, ladies and gentlemen, Hustle has come to play. Hustle is ready. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, Miss Killer Bunny didn't even see her come. Wow. Massive improvement. What do you think, Renegade? Like, what do you see here? I think she's starting to uh, to get the... Uh, she's figuring out the strategy that Miss Color Bunny's going with and has really picked up on it and has honed in on making sure she's using that AR to her advantage. Like, phenomenal, phenomenal. She's just, she's playing the, the, the strategies well. She's thinking about her moves. Pinpoint accuracy. Just absolutely phenomenal. Miss Killer Bunny is heading more closer to A. Hustle is still peeking B. She's waiting to see if that door opens. All right, she she's moving into B. Miss Killer Bunny uh, plants the bomb. Playing the sneaky approach again. Hustle knows the bomb is not at B. Where's Hustle going? Hustle's going away she's from a long way around again. Hustle's going a long, long way around. She's trying to come up behind her again. Miss Killer Bunny is paying attention she to is that being side. More aggressive with it. She is. She isn't being nearly as slow this time around. Yeah, Hustle's running low on time. They're gonna meet here in this in this parking lot. Oh, Miss Killer Bunny saw right her. on top of her. Oh, oh and Miss Killer there. Bunny she shoots her down. Out. Tried to get flashy with the jump move, but phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal play on Miss Killer Bunny's part. Uh. Bomb is switched now. Hustle will have Let's the bomb. Some people or shoot them. Whatever works. Hustle will have the bomb. Wow. Absolutely just mass improvement from last week. Like absolutely uh, hustle hustle is doing really well. Miss Killer Bunny, I think she might be sweating a bit. So. Well, like, really. I would definitely think so. It's gonna be really interesting now. Hustle now has the bomb. Now that get like again, some of the tacos say that that gives you more control. Being being down by by two, I mean that's not a bad spot if that is true having more control right absolutely all right looks like hustle is moving straight towards B and miss killer bunny threw the knife already does hustle see the knife hustle opens the door you heard it oh but didn't and, see it. and hustle walked right into it a sneaky approach miss killer bunny pulls off Poor, 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 poor move on Hustle's part, but, you know, that happens, and that's why we play the game. That was just down to experience right there. It really was. Hustle heard it, but she didn't know where it was. Five, two, still, still anything can happen, folks. Anything can happen. Man, that sucked. 
anything well, we already, can happen. They already see each other. They already see oh, each other? Uh, We're in a gunfight. Hustle is making a beeline straight towards uh, Miss Killer Bunny's side. Hustle says, you know what, if I'm going down, I'm going down fighting. Hustle's got the knife cocked. Hustle tried to throw it, heal it up a bit. Oh, just misses the knife throw on Miss Killer Hustle's Bunny. Hustle's got to reload. Hustle's hurt. And, and that was a fight, funny. ladies and gentlemen. That was a fight. Miss Killer right. Bunny was match point. Miss Killer Bunny wins this. Miss Killer Bunny wins this. Oh my god. Then uh, it will uh, it will clinch the game. Here we go. Going Looks like Hustle's to on the B side. Miss Killer Bunny plants her knife. Hustle's going right in for it. The approach. Baiting her in. Throws the knife. No, she's there. Pre fires a corner. Drops the bomb, picks up the bomb. Dropped it again. Going window side. Uh, he's got her blind side in. And Miss Killer Bunny blind side shoots her for the win. Congratulations, Miss Killer Bunny. And a little bit of showboat in there. That's that's not that's not nice for the tacos. We don't we don't you know we, it's love and love and love and tacos. We don't we don't showboat around. That kind of action is, is, is not is not necessary. <sighs> Anywho, uh, great match, great match. Um, definitely, definitely mass improvement. Kudos to Hustle. Kudos to uh, kudos to uh, Miss Killer Bunny. Um, official results will be open next week on that. Uh, the next match we have up in order. Who do we have on deck here? Next match we have is Aqua Stone and Sosa Flea. We've got Aqua Stone and Sosa Flea on deck, getting ready to fight each other. Renegade, this is the match you've been most intrigued about. What do this you? This is definitely the one I've been, I, I was definitely waiting for here. This is the match that we're gonna see some flashiness and uh, and and some and some jazz. Um, so let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get these guys loaded in. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> okay. So we've got Sosa Fleet, Aqua Stone in this match here. I know these two have have a, a little bit of a rivalry. Um, there's been quote unquote. Aqua says that. Uh, uh, makes Sosa sweat a little bit sometimes. I've heard some some jazz about that. Uh but that's been a lot of time since that has happened. So, Luling. Here we go. Sosa Flea. Aqua Stone. A match of the ages. Here Chat. we chat Go. so so i'm seeing chat kind of blow up a little bit and they're talking about how aqua like a lot of people are behind aqua right now and i mean sosa is definitely the underdog i mean like what what do we got here do we got sosa do you think sosa play mind games or do you think sosa is going to go right in his face sosa might i could see sosa maybe trying to do do a mind game here but if it's not working, I, I really see Sosa changing it up and just good, taking it right to him. I mean, this is going to be a, an interesting match. Uh, you know, um, if, if, if Aqua's on game, there could be a amount of dominance. If Sosa is on his game, it could be a pushback. Uh, I just don't really know who could who could what's going to happen here um so far giving credit where credit's due monkey is still the 
only competitor that has had a direct knife throw. Not one, not two, but three times. So, yes, he is the only one that has gotten that direct hit. I'm up for a run. Chat's very intrigued on this. Very, very intrigued. All right. Not taking anything away from Hustle. Hustle you did amazing. Frenchie did amazing. All these competitors did awesome. Heartless did amazing. We opened up with a banger match. It has been absolutely just a great, great day for the Rogue Company League. I'm all limbled up. We have uh, Sosa with Bomb first. Aqua is going to be the defender this round. On deck, we have Jade Doggles and Lilith next. Don't take anything away from any of these competitors, guys. Again, if you want to be a part of this type of action, all you have to do is join the Taco Society Discord, a great place to promote yourself for streamers and non-streamers. Um, and uh, there will be many more of these to come as Sosa takes the wide approach and heading somewhat towards A. Aqua peek in the corner. Aqua's that hanging out, hanging out right around B. That peek in that corner is just absolutely huge. They just, oh, oh. I am noticing something different with Aqua's approach running around here. Oh He's no! Sosa pre-fired. Sosa pre-fired. Aqua's going around. Aqua knows he's got to get that bomb. Aqua is over by the silo. They're coming around the same side. Oh, I don't think Sosa's him. seen him. I don't think Sosa's seen him. Aqua definitely sees him. He's coming up behind him. Just misses the throw. knife throw. Aqua guns him the down. On him. Uh -oh. Sosa threw his knife completely in the opposite direction. I don't think Sosa knew he, where he was. Sosa did not see. Aqua I don't think. I think all. when Aqua came around that side, Sosa did not see him. I think that just goes down to map awareness right there. That goes down to map awareness. Absolutely. Heading back into the action. We've got Sosa right. heading to B. Aqua is also heading B. Aqua's peeking the, uh, the left-hand side of B. There's a corner. He's looking oh, at the Aqua window. He's looking Aqua at the window. He just misses that knife throw. You better watch out. You got to you got you better not run into that knife. You better not run into that knife. Oh, he ran into it. Oh no, Aqua tried to shoot it. Aqua shot both knives. Aqua out of has the long range game right now. Aqua has the uh, the AK. Aqua pushing oh, in. So Aqua pushing in on the side goes long way. Friendly and that way. just comes down to Aqua Aqua's having more line. range. That's what that comes down to right there. Absolutely. Aqua played the range game and played it well. That was you, well played on Aqua's on, on Aqua's you, part there. Now, now, so far, as far as what you're seeing, just in these two matches, um, I thought we were gonna see a little bit more flash and flair from Aqua because you know he was trying to assert his dominance. But I'm not trying to say anything bad about his play, but it seems very basic right now. It is definitely he, he's definitely playing more more strategy than I than I really expected him to play. It is definitely a basic play right now. He is just going for the better gunplay at this moment. All right, he's going back to that same side he was on last round. 
Aqua went B. Sosa's going Aqua's A. Going. Aqua's still kind of creeping over by B. And oh. Aqua oh. got got a got got a glimpse at Sosa running over to A. Does he? Does, this comes down to a gunfight. Aqua's going around. He's got. The, they both have their knife. They're peeking. Oh, that pull just got just in the way. That could have been a direct hit. Aqua's hurt. Aqua, Aqua that knife is cocked though. Grenade by both competitors. Sosa does have a gun this time. What's the play? What's the play? What do you do? What do you do? Who wants it more? Who wants it more? Nice roll by Sosa to dodge out of the way. Sosa Aqua has hurt. Sosa, Sosa hurt. hurt. Aqua's stuck against the wall. Aqua knows he's stuck yet. He can't move. Aqua's got a better angle. Sosa's pre-firing. Oh, so oh, what a fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Can't take nothing away from uh, uh, Sosa. I think what just hurt him was he was peeked up against that wall. Bomb drop. I have the bomb. That the, and that that's where it came down to. Wow, 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 wow! Absolutely insane. That was a good gun battle. I honestly think that might have been the best. That might have been the best gun battle all day long. That was definitely a really good gun battle. The only thing that hurt Sosa there is he was just butted up against that wall. That wall killed him. It it really did. Let's Not go. being able to uh, peek around definitely hurt him there. Ooh, Aqua went straight over to A this time. Okay, and... He's definitely peeking that, that long way around to A on Sosa's Sosa's side. Sosa's peeking oh. A. Sosa's peeking Aqua's A. I think Sosa sees him. I think Sosa, I no, Sosa didn't Aqua see him. There. Sosa didn't see him. Or is Sosa baiting him? What's going on? Oh, snap. It is He's got the knife cocked. I think Sosa does know where Aqua is right now. He's got the knife cocked. No, Throws the knife. Comes down to a fight. Goes up on top of the truck. Goes around the statue. Aqua takes, away the, takes away the knife play. Throws the Very knife up on top. Throw there. Sosa looking down Sice, needs to reload. Rolls around the knife. Needs to heal up, he's hurt. Gunfire, Sosa needs to reload. Sosa needs to reload. Sosa's not gonna reload, Sosa's not gonna reload. There's the reload, there's the reload. Uh, he's, he's not getting the full completion though. position. He's not getting the full completion. 20 seconds, somebody's gotta make a move. Somebody's gotta make a move. And Aqua guns him down. Wow, Aqua just a, 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 un, un, ungodly throwing some dominance right now. He is definitely showing his dominance in the, in the gun play. You know, oh man. And they have been fighting each other. I don't think there, I think there hasn't been maybe, maybe one bomb, bomb plant this match. There might have been one, but I don't think, there definitely hasn't been many. But Aqua, I think, it, you think Aqua is just trying to prove to Sosa that he is better with the guns than Sosa is. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely what it looks like. The knife, the knife throws have not been on point in this match. They definitely haven't been. And they're playing right the above the door on B. Oh, Sosa seen him. Sosa seen him. Is is he gonna take Aqua the sees, shot? Aqua He's sees peeking. Sosa here. He's peeking. They're both peeking. Oh my and God! Great grenade throw. Grenade throw. What he grenade cooked. Throw from Aqua. He cooked the grenade throw to kill Sosa. That was insane. That was a good man, a good play. That might be play of the day. You can't teach that grenade throw. He cooked that, it. He cooked that just perfectly. That it, as soon as it got to Sosa, it exploded. You you can't teach that grenade throw. You really can't. That was dirty. So dirty, as one of our infamous uh, tacos would say.
That was so dirty. God. As, a, as one of the UK tacos would say, that was a very cheeky move. Cheeky move. Wow, what a throw. Aqua knows where Sosa is. Aqua is right by, right in the middle on B. He saw Aqua punch that, or saw Sosa punch that window out. What is he? Sosa has no idea. Sosa, it looks like a lost puppy right now. Sosa has no idea. Not a clue. Not a clue. Sosa's not even in the building. Sosa, Aqua wants to try and get one of those direct knife hits. Yeah, he, he has the knife out. And he has the knife. He's watching. He is definitely watching those, those two doors. I think he saw Sosa through that doorway. He does. He does he's see on him. the edge of it. He's he's getting it lined up. He's ready to. Oh he my god! The he hit. finally hits a direct. He hits a direct hit. Honestly, Sosa. I think Sosa just took too much time there. He was trying to pull the grenade cook. Not really a bad play, but I think what you should have done is you just throw the grenade next to that wall. Right. Absolutely. Second, second direct hit, knife throw. Crazy, 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 crazy. Let everyone stay safe. Well, relatively. Crazy hit. Match point. If Aqua wins this, he cleans up the round, asserts his dominance, and I think right here, this just sends a message to Jay Doggle saying, I'm coming for you. You think you're good? Watch this. I'm coming. Hike Diesel, move over. I'm coming. You, 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 do you think this is the, the message to Hike Diesel that... I think so. He is coming, he, he is coming for Hike Diesel's number right now. I think so. I think so. Sosa has the knife! Oh, Sosa almost other. hits him! He's got a better look. He's got a better Aqua look. Is definitely hurt and reloading right now. Shoots the knife. the knife. Sosa's out of looking play. down sights. He should be hip firing that. He's got to let that reload animation happen. Sosa's going to be out of ammo here. Last clip. Last clip. Watch out. And Sosa and with ends knife with throw. a knife throw off, off of Sosa's roll. Sosa, valiant effort. Wow. Aqua played well. Not bad. Not bad. Wow. Last two kills being direct hits. Alrighty. Well done to both competitors. Well done. We've got uh, next up here uh, on deck here. We've got J Doggles and Lilith calling J Doggles and Lilith to the matches. I do not see J Doggles on. J Doggles and Lilith, please. Please make your way to the battle arena. I did see that it looked like Lilith was on. Lilith is yep, on. We is. need Jay Doggles. What a match. Aqua asserts some dominance. Calling Jay Doggles. Try to keep these matches rolling. And then next on the list, we have Gomak and Vision and This Is Madness. Uh, 
I, I, I got word that it says that Jay Doggles is in game, but I haven't, I don't see him on the list. And that's just, that's just, uh, you know, that's our rogue stuff. We'll try it again. Try it again. Thank you guys for your patience as far as this. Jay Doggles, I don't see you on the list for invites, sir. Okay, Jay Doggles is restarting game, having issues, technical side difficulties. Well, you know, what do you think of this matchup? Let's talk about it. We have Lilith, the underdog of last week, who takes Sosa to the max. Comes in sitting at tight for first for points versus Jay Doggles, who again woke up and then came in after he woke up, put on a clinic. Absolutely, it, he did. It is, it's gonna be scary. Like, are we, do you think we're gonna see another round of dominance or do we see a, 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 a shocking underdog win? I don't know. Um, I could definitely see it going both ways, but I don't know. I I, I can't sleep on Lilith. I I, I think she uh, she may not pull off the win, but she is definitely gonna gonna do her best to keep this close and not let it be a blowout. Renegade, on your list, do you see Jay Doggles on your list? Because I I think they said he's up, but I still don't see him. Uh, let me check here. I. Don't. Okay, hold on. I don't know if hold I on. have him as a as a friend on Rogue. Okay, Jay Doggles just invited me, so I'll I'll see if we can reinvite everybody here. Jay Doggles, okay, let, let me, me uh, let me set this up here, bud. We'll try this. Right, make sure you exit that lobby, uh, Renegade. I did. Okay. Okay. All right. Jay Doggles, come on. Uh, we got to go to customs, man. We're all here. Okay. Here we go. Everybody's in. We've got Jay Doggles. We've got Lilith. And. This is going to be an amazing match. Jay Doggles did turn on the Jets last match and went in for a little bit of dominance. Lilith shocked the world with going one-on-one -on -one with Sofa and pulling out a victory. Here we go. Matchup for the ages. Absolutely, absolutely. Great, great, great matchups today. I couldn't agree more. Also, we've got two more matches after this, guys. Please stick around and enjoy. We've got Gomac and Gabs and Vision and This Is Madness. Also, if you guys want to be a part of this, uh, please join the Taco Society Discord where we support all streamers and non-streamers. A great place to hang out and have a good time. We will be doing a duos tournament after the league. Anybody that is a taco is more than welcome to join. Alrighty. Who's getting goosebumps, ladies and gentlemen? Man. <sighs> These I definitely got some goosebumps going on right now. These competitors just, just, ah, uh, they take my breath away. Oh. <laughs> Someone in chat, definitely all pumped up. <laughs> this is Sparta. I like it. I really like it. The crowd is going wild. A lot of dominance on the next last match. Here we go. We've got Jay Doggles. We've got Lilith, 
and it is on its way. Lilith starting with the bomb first. Again, remember, first round, you start with that Spitfire sidearm, and let's get this match on the way. Please try to stay in the plane before me and Renegade kill ourselves so it makes it a little bit fair on the map. Let's go. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, we got J Doggles already strutting here. Left side, we've got Lilith. J Doggles, right side. Lilith starting with bomb. Lilith heading somewhat to A. J Doggles brought oh. up the samurai sword. He he brought the katana. What that, is, that is this the all about? Today that's had the katana. Nobody's ever bought it yet. What a play. Is this a fancy move or is this just a hey guy? Oh my god. Oh. Lilith had a peek. J Dogs did see the knife. I think he did see Lilith he cooked there. The grenade. The grenade goes right over his head. He's looking for a katana kill right here. He looked like he was going to try to do the katana throw. As he's wrapped around, Lilith kind of going back and forth. Lilith running low on time. 40 seconds to plant the bomb. Oh, oh hit him with the katana and just cleans him up. Oh, my Lord. What a ninja play. Why in the, no, no, he says, I don't need an exploding knife. Watch this. As he hits her with the katana, point blank in the head, cleans her up with the sidearm. Play of the day? Wow. Is that play of the day? Ladies and gentlemen. That is the first katana play we have seen what all day. What a match. Holy smokes. I mean, we're talking Aqua earlier. He made his moves very basic, other than the great grenade throw. And everything else, like, Jay, he's going for finesse. He's definitely going with a different approach that we didn't, we, we did not discuss the katana that, that Ronin has. Throws the knife all the way across the way. Does, in this position, and a grenade. Was that knife? Was that knife throw? That was the knife. first one was the katana. The second one was the what was her knife. So as as being Ronin and that that katana, should you have picked that katana up after it being there? I think that would be a good play. I I if I would have Jay Douglas comes up behind. We got a fire to go Grab that real quick. Lace allowed. With a great oh, grenade throw. Another grenade. He's got the knife. Peeking, peeking. Throws the knife. Coming around the corner. Got her met! Jay Doggles! Jay, Jay is definitely hurt. He is Jay is hurt. I think you push here. You should have pushed. I think she should have. I think she should have pushed there. Oh, what a fight. What a Jay fight. We're moment. running low on ammo though. We're running low on ammo and Jay cleans her up. It's it. Jay cleans her up. Great. Wow. Great play. Great play. Yeah. Bomb has been dropped. Great play. I have the bomb. Sosa says Monkey thinks he gets play of the day for the knife direct hits. We will definitely have to see with these with, with this matchup and then the next. I mean, two. that's a tough call. Katana for the cleanup. Tough, tough call. I did not see. I, I, I didn't see what what primary uh, J Doggles went with. It looks like he did go with the SMG. Sounds like knife throw was thrown right next he to it right, inside the door. Right on the door. Do you touch the button or not? Do you take that chance? Lilith decides not to. With the, the grenade throw. throw, with the throw of the knife, barely misses, and a grenade throw. Jay oh is my. on fire right now. What a display 
of any trick in the book. Lilith is Jay trying her hardest. That katana throw by inches, and Lilith and is giving a little bit of pushback. It's just coming down to a hair trigger is what it is. Absolutely. This score does not speak for itself. See, and, and, you know, per the league point system, Jay is doing some favors for the under people because of the fact that if Jay shuts her out, she'll be stuck at 21 points. Yeah, he is definitely trying to make a statement here. He is going around left side of B here. Looks like Lilith has taken the sneaky approach. Jay is not worried about the sneaking. He is he he does not care, but he did see a peek on Lilith. He is going for that katana throw. Rolled right out of the way. Do you pick that up? I think you picked that up. If I'm Lilith, I pick up that katana. I pick it. That's another object to throw. Wow, just missed, comes blindside. Did get here though. Wow. We Where's got a fight. We got a fight. Just peeks her on. Right Cleans her up. Right her off. Lilith got so many headshots, but uh, but but uh, Jade Oggles had the high ground and was able to recover. Bomb has been dropped. <laughs> Where did you? Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Guys, this is absolutely a display being put on by Jay Doggles. Lilith is doing everything she can. And she is playing hard. She is playing so heads up right now. Let's go. So heads up. As, uh, as we've got the, uh... Oh, Lilith sees Jay. Jay saw her. Nice yeah, we just missed. And Lilith. throws a grenade. Cooks a grenade! Bounces just off the truck, though. It looked like it was lined up. Lilith has a, an aim, Jay's though, right, right now. Oh, my Gets God! the knife throw with the direct hit. Comes around the shots to throw the knife with the direct hit. Wow! What a play by Jay Doggles there. I think she. I. I. I think Jay might have uh, Lilith a little worried about that katana throwing. All righty, we've got a. Uh, we've got a. Uh, Lilith uh, down. Here, still has the bomb. Tough play. Tough play. Oh my god. Let's go. Make sure you guys are letting us jump out of the plane first. Alright. Jay is over by B. He's going around left side of B right now. Lilith is peeking with knife. Jay is staying on the B side. They're about to meet. They're about to meet. Jay is holding off. Looking corners. Could possibly blindside him. He doesn't see her. He, he sees her now. Her over the truck. Oh my god! And he gets the direct hit. Willis with the direct hit off the truck! Catches her! Lilith says, you are not shutting me out. I will not let this happen. I I am coming at you. Let's save some people. What wow. A play, what a throw. What a throw. Holy that was smokes. That was throw versus the, versus the exploding knife throw there. A taste of your own medicine. Take that, Mr. Doggles. Wow. Lilith says, hey, you want this win? You think you're gonna shut me down? Uh-uh, not happening, not today. 
I bet you Jay is just frustrated right now with that. Jay thought he was going to come in and mop up the floor. Lilith says, nope, I'm taking one home with me. I'm taking one home with me. Wow. Right off the truck. Watch All right. step. Jay is, is creeping around. Looks like he's going around long way to A. Ooh, looks like he might have changed his mind and might be going through the door here at A. He did get the katana again for this round. Man. Oh, he sees Lilith's and knife there on A. That knife, that last knife throw, though, that just goes to show you that that's a one hit, you know? You could be dominating and all of a sudden pull off an amazing throw like that. <laughs> Jay was at A. He saw Lilith's knife there, but decided to backtrack and go to B. Bomb's active. Find it and defuse it. Bomb is, Bomb planted. is planted for the first time in this match, ladies and gentlemen. Jay does plant his knife at the on Lilith's side of B. Will Lilith will Lilith fall for it? it is right and inside he's that door making noise B. against the wall. Jay Oh, oh my Jay god, she almost rolled right out. into it. She can't get it she can't get an angle on that shot. He hears her. He sees her coming around. Coming around. Bombs we got a fight. And Jay just unloads the clip. Her out. Jay with the strategy of hitting the knife or the katana against the wall to create sound. I mean, that was something else, too. That was definitely a, a, using the, uh, the sound to your advantage. Like, wow. All right. Match point for Jay Doggles. Lilith did pull off one win i mean that's gotta frustrate him a bit because he just seen aqua go seven and out that's gotta frustrate him because i know i know he wanted that victory i know he wanted that shutout victory but it's not over can lilith can lilith wreck wreck uh jay doggles day one more time can lilith pull off the this huge upset and absolutely just come back and Jay Doggles is just swinging the katana to create as much sound as possible he is definitely not going with the uh with the sneak approach no. he is definitely all about I'm, I want you to know where I, I am I want you to know where I am and he plants the bomb bomb is at A do you pick your knife yeah, up? Planted on the back the side of that truck. Oh no! Does she know? Does she know? He is hitting the building to create more noise for her to try to throw her Jay off. Jay knows the sound. Jay has no. Or, uh, Lilith has no idea where Jay is. Going for the knife though, and just throws Jay a katana at her face katana to clean kill. her up. A perfect throw. Pinpoint throw. Great showing, awesome way to change things up. I don't think anybody expected the throws of the katana. Yeah, we we did not discuss the katana that she does have. Wow, what a throw. I believe we have Gabs and Gomac up next, is that correct? I do believe that should be the next matchup. We have Gabs and Gobek next. These are the two that uh, I think this is going to be an interesting, interesting play. And uh, Gomac, you are up. So let's go ahead and let them get loaded in. I don't see Gomac up on the uh, standings or on the, uh, the invite yet. <laughs> I mean, I mean, them throws like how much were those spot arm throws with the with the katana? Like you know, like that was if Tom Brady played Rogue Company, that would be Jay Doggles right there. I just have to say, definitely would have been like. All right, Go Mac, we're waiting for you to load up, buddy. 
Let's get you loaded up, get you in your match. While he's getting loaded up, we're going to take a, a quick little just slight break for intermission purposes. Use restroom, get your popcorn, whatever you want to do. Just a slight I little, a slight little break. I, I am also going to take a break myself, so I uh, will also be right back. Gabs, go ahead and load up. The invite is out. Gomac is in. One minute break. Uh, the, the left side looks a little darker. Alrighty. I am back. We are letting Renegade get back. Still waiting for Gabs to load up. Still waiting for Gabs to load up. We will start the match when uh, when Renegade gets back. Very, 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 very great games today, guys. <sighs> Renegade is back. All righty, we are back. Thank you for taking the uh, brief uh, break with us, guys. I hope you got your popcorn. Hope you got your sodas. Heck, if anybody drinks beer, hope you got that too. And uh, here we go. We've got Gomac. We've got Gabs tied on the leaderboard. Who wants it more? Who wants to move out of that placement? Who wants to move up? Here we go. Gomac representing the uh, Netherlands. Gabs, US. Here we go. Who's your picks? Get your tickets. Gomac will be starting with... This was one of our highlight matches here. This is one we definitely discussed. And this is one where I feel that, again, like Gabs does play Ronin. Gabs, Gabs' second favorite is Ronin. Gomac, I don't know if he's played Ronin. I, I know he plays Kavik or Kak. Kavik? Kak. I can't remember his name. He plays him. <laughs> Kak. I know he plays him, but uh, we'll see what happens. But the matches are on their way. What do you think, man? What do you think? Who's the underdog here? Do you think Gomak is the underdog? I, I, I would definitely think that Gomak would be the underdog in this matchup. Okay. Well, we're about to find out. 
Guys, try to remember to stay in the plane until after me and Renegade dies so we can make sure we get a view on all the action. Hopefully, Rogue will fix the spectate mode eventually because, you know, that would help us out tremendously. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Heads down, folks. Gomak has the bomb first, sporting the black and blue Ronin. Gabs is defending. Looks like she's going with the uh, the traditional Ronin skin. Oh, a little banter in the chat. Jay Doggles, after his victory win, comes around and says, Aqua, I'm coming for you. Wow. wow, bold statement, bold we did, we, we statement. Did very... All right, here we All go. Right. We got Gabs, looks like she's going straight over to A. She is creeping behind the barricade at A, but now she is making her way back over to B. As Gomak is taking the long way around, with A. Gabs is making her way back over to A. Gabs is making her way back over to A. Gabs is peeking. Moving away. Gomac he, being cautious. Gabs is Gabs running is going back and forth. Back and forth. She wants a handle on both spots. She's definitely been Go peeking. Mac. She's trying Go to Mac. get up on top of that truck. Couldn't get it. Go back. To, uh, Go back with a knife throw. So close! Just misses the knife throw. Barely! A quarter of an inch, Charlie. A quarter of an inch, she would have had him. Lethal out. Grenade throw from from uh, Gomac there. We got a silo Gabs fight. Gabs with her knife throw. Fairly close. She is hurt from the, uh, the gunshots from Gomac. She did get healed 22 up, seconds. Gomac needs to figure out where he's going to plant this bomb. I'm planting the bomb. Planting the bomb. It's going to come down to a gunfight. Gabs is, Gabs is sitting back. She's waiting to see what he's going to do here. Gabs has got him. On peak. Gabs is pushing. Gabs is pushing. Push Gabs goes him down. Gabs turns around and makes a great play to disarm the bomb. Bomb that Kept the high ground with that kill there. Ooh, that was a fight. That was a fight. I that tell you, was what, a, an excellent throw from Gomak. If he could have just aimed a little bit higher on that knife throw, it would have been a direct hit. Gomak was three quarters of an inch of a direct hit. Three quarters of an inch. God. When he Man, released I, it, I really thought that that was, that was it. I really thought he had her there with that knife throw. Man, and this is why we love this game. Anything can happen. All right. All right. Gabs is, she's kind of going with that same approach. Gomax, keep an eye. Gomax, take, Gomax changing it up. Gomax taking B. Yeah. Gomax is peeking both points. She keeps going back and forth between looking at A and looking at B. Making her way to B. Gomac turns around. He hears, he hears any noise right now. Cooking the grenade. She's got to throw it. Oh, my God. Oh, Gomac almost blew himself up. He's got the knife. He's got the knife. She it's got glitched the out, though. I love this. Been but Gomac just, just guns her down. SMG there with that round. Yeah, Gomac just had precision shooting. Or I'm sorry, Gabs had precision shooting there. Just takes him out. What it? Do you Great think? Great gunplay there from Gabs. Do you think Gomac changes up the strategy? Oh, Gomac also didn't have a, a primary gun. Like I said, like, right, right there at the end, I noticed that she had purchased the uh, the SMG. So. 
It's amazing how that SMG and this gunplay, well, you can see Gomak with the AK right now. So. All right, Gab's going with her with her same strat that she's been using all match so far, peaking both points. But she does not have, she did not purchase the grenade, ladies and gentlemen. She does not have either of the grenades. Go Mac, heading to A. He's going for a corner bomb plant. Gab's nose with a grenade, she throws off to the side. Gabs is peeking the corner as he wraps around. Go back with a knife throw. Just misses the knife throw. And, and then he takes, takes her off. Takes her down. Gomak with the first win with a pushback. Wow. Good gunplay there from Gomak. Absolutely. It's really weird because Gomak is glitching on our side, so it didn't even look like he had his gun in his hand when he was shooting. Uh, <laughs> but great, great play, Gomak. Great play. Wow. I think this is going to be one of them matches. I, I, I'm kind of liking this battle between the, uh, he went with the, the KA-30, the AR, and she's definitely sticking with that SMG. Yeah. And that's what we talked about before this, that damage on that AK is so, so strong. Ooh, Gomak went with a knife throw way across the way. She, Gab did, Gabs did see the knife throw. She saw it get activated. The thing is, is if Gab, that may corner her off a little bit. Oh, oh he's got a better pick on her. Gabs got the takedown with the, uh, with the jump on Nick Gomak. Gabs mows her down. I mean, I mean, it is, it is a, it is kind of back and forth right now. Go with, with Gab's just a fairly higher, little bit lead, but don't take anything away from Gomak. He is playing strategies. You think Gomak's gonna pick up on, on, on the strategy that that Gab's is using, where she is hanging back and just peeking both points? Yeah. That's all she's been doing. She's waiting for Gomak to make his move, and then she's she's going for that counter attack. Gomak goes around. Explosion goes off. Gomak's going way around A. Gab's staying B. Gab's is playing this middle like a pro, though. She is definitely playing the 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 counter the counter play here. Mm -hmm. She's been doing it all She's on the back of the. That, she's that on the back of the really truck. Well. She's on the back of the truck. Go back with a knife throw. Oh, just rolls her into it. Almost exploded. Do you pick the How knife up? Did that... Do you pick the wow. knife up? Wow. Uh, I think you do. He picks the knife up. Picks the knife up. Gabs comes around, sitting at the silo, right on the opposite side of that A. Gomac really wants that knife throw. Gabs She's is going around. around back side to I, a. Think, I think Gomac's seen her. Protecting Oops. it. Knife lands right in front of her. He does take bomb. it out, so he has no more knife now. Gabs has got hers out. She deploys it. Got the high ground. Gabs with the better shot. The and just guns him down. That was just aim right there. He had the high ground. He had the leverage. And she comes in and shuts him down. She went with the reverse from Star Wars. She was like, nah, -uh, you ain't getting this at all, Obi-Wan. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the bomb you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All righty, here we go. We've got, uh, we've got Gabs. We've got Gomak. 4-1. Will Gabs try to go for the sweep here? 
this would be a huge amount of points for Gabs if she can pull this off. Huge amount. It's a tough fight. Gabs is tough to fight. She is definitely tough. She is definitely she she's really loving this this counter play right now. Gab uh, Gomak really wants to start scoring points. Knife throw again, way across the way. Yeah, this is kind of hanging out by B. Looks like she might be trying to make a play to wrap around to backside of A. She's cooking the grenade. Oh. Gabs. Go, <laughs> what, what's the play here? Do you think you jumped the tree and see? Oh, she's on top of the rock. He jumped the rock oh, and gets the and jump he, on it. He got flustered there. That's all that happened. She jumped up and he got flustered. He definitely got flustered on that. You gotta, you gotta be careful because you cannot look down sights when you're that close. When you're that close, you have to fire from the hip. Let's keep you inside. You have inside. to. Good play by Gabs for the push. Good play by Gabs for the push. Absolutely, that was a great push there. All righty, here we go. Five, five, one. Gabs now has the bomb. She has control as far as what the tacos say. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got, we got Gabs vision. Really liking that, that that counter play against Gomak here. Yep. This, is, this might make her have to change up her strategy. Not that real sure what's happening. Friendly eliminated. What just happened? Oh, what happened? I am not sure what happened on my end. But Gomak didn't make the play. Not exactly sure what happened there. I am not real sure. What I think happened. I think Gomak flew out of bounds. I think Gomak flew out of bounds. Oh, he jumped out of the plane too early. Oh, so that was his costly mistake. That just gave Gabs a free points. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. That that that's gonna cost you a little bit. That puts you down on the scoreboard. It's okay. Go back. You got a scratch and claw for those those points. Got a scratch right. and claw. No. Looks like Gabs is gonna try to play the uh, the aggressive approach. He went straight for B, but she looked like she was gonna plan at B, but now she's waiting for Gomac. And, and Gabs cleans up it. and just destroys Gomac. Seven to one. Nice game. Nice play. Good for all you guys. Nice try, Gomac. You played valiantly. Unfortunately, with a, uh, a mix-up of, of hurting yourself flying off the map, it was a good game all around. Okay. Last match, guys. Here we go. Last match. With a sub of Miss Madness coming in. Vision coming in. It is time. This is Madness. If you would please add me on Rogue. So we can get you in here. Oh, it's so sad to see that match end like that. It really is. But... You played well, Gomac. You really did. Last match. Main event. Here we go. Vision. The Miss Madness. We just got to get her in here. God. So what do you think? W with all the Ronin play you see today, Renegade, what do you think? What, what, uh, what is... 
what has surprised you and what has really really just kind of has it has it made you think like kind of go back to the drawing board on how you take your approaches and and what you do or do you just stick with your same strategy and play play you know f- the sneaky game the heads up the night rely on the knife throw like what is what what's we've seen a lot of different things we we have definitely seen a wide variety of various strategies like that last matchup gabs was definitely all about that that counter play um but we've seen a various strategies today I don't know. I, I think if I'm some, especially these last two competitors, if, if I've been watching these previous ones, I'm going to maybe try to do, you know, maybe a little bit of a combination of, of, of a couple of them and see if I can utilize them to my advantage. Um, the fact that we've only seen one Katana, Katana play at all today was, was surprising at all. Because like we like 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 we've been saying, we haven't we didn't discuss the katana this entire the entire day. Yeah, uh, so, I mean that could definitely be a a strategy to go with is is giving yourself that that dual ability to to throw a weapon. Absolutely, and uh, and you, at that point you end up with three different weapons that you can throw because you have the the grenades from her, plus you have the knife and then a katana. So you have three different opportunities for a thrown kill yeah absolutely i absolutely and and for jay doggles to come out and do the uh the um the uh 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 the oh man i think my game just like froze on me a minute okay uh to come out and do the uh the uh what is the 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 katana throw to bring the katana into the fight um, that's just phenomenal. Like it was such a great, great, great like idea. Cause now not only do you have a knife to throw, now you have a katana to throw. Like that was just brilliant. It really was. Um, and it caught people off guard. Like it really did. Uh, you know, it, it, it there's been, there's just been too much good play today. If you had to say right now before this match happens, though, what is what do you think play of the day? Do you think Monkey with his spot on knife throws, VIP knife throws that he got, the cook grenade with Aqua, or the final katana throw headshot to to Lilith? If I have to pick one of those, I might have to go with Monkey in the in the the three direct kills. I think so too. Like, I mean, do you just group all of those into one play? Because he was the most spot on dominant person with that knife today. I, I, I would definitely group them all together. I, I would definitely put that in, in there as one play. Absolutely. Like, uh, Madness is in a game right now. She's just trying to finish it up. So she will be here in momentarily. Um, just wanted to get you guys knowing. Uh, but anywho, um, yeah, I, I kind of think so too. I think Monkey may have gotten play of the day. I mean, Aqua, the only flashy move she did, he did. He played, he kept everything really basic, really, really basic. But he did do the grenade cook, which is huge, was phenomenal. The timing on that was great. And Jay Doggles with the uh, the uh, the um, the katana was great. Um, Gabs, I mean, Gabs close though. That, 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 or not Gabs, was it Gabs or Gomak? Gabs when, or Lilith, Lilith, no, Lilith off of the truck. That was a good yeah, throw too. That um, was an absolute good throw. So we've got four contenders of possibly match of the week. I, I kind of am with you though. I think Monkey gets, or sorry, play of the day. I think Monkey gets play of the day, um, in my eyes. Um, but it is Absolutely. up to the tacos. It is absolutely up to the tacos. <laughs> all, in all, all in all today, the, the, the matches have been phenomenal by everyone. Like, so to everyone that's been participating today, you guys have been phenomenal. Yep, and, and, and Heartless comes in and says, Monkey should get play of the day. We're getting a lot of votes here for Monkey for play of the day. So, 
Um, we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll discuss it. Uh, you know, we still got to go through official results and reviews and, uh, and that will be posted later. This will, this will be uploaded on YouTube so you can go back and relive all the action. Um, so yeah. And we're just, again, waiting for, for this is madness to, uh, to, to finish your match so we can get on with the final match. Let's talk about, let's break this match down a little bit. Again, we've broke it down a couple times, but let's break it down one more time. Vision, Vision has been taking a liking to Ronan lately. Been playing her quite a bit. Really does like her. Uh, this is Madness. I know, speaking to her off, off camera, behind closed doors here, uh, we've talked and she loves Dallas and Ronan. So that makes it really interesting. Um, what route do you think we're going to see here? Do you see SMG? Do you see AK? Um, with, with not knowing, uh, this is madness is, uh, her gameplay style. Um, I'm definitely going to, I definitely see an AK being involved from, from one of the two parties. Um, but it, it, it's, it's definitely going to, definitely going to be a great matchup, especially with the, uh, with not a lot of knowledge on on his competitor today. Absolutely. I think that just throws a curveball because Vision was preparing for Hike Diesel after the dominating performance that Hike Diesel did last week. Absolutely dominating performance. And all of a sudden, a curveball gets thrown at him to where, hey, you're not facing him this week. You're facing a sub, um, you know, due to scheduling conflicts. And uh, I know... Hike is going to be in here watching this as far as whatever he's doing, um, making sure to see how this plays out. Again, they did do a, they did do one off off uh, off Rogue League standards, not unsanctioned, um, and I believe it was. Did you say seven four? Right. It was seven four that matchup between Visions and Hike Diesel on on that in, in that unsanctioned match. So. so so I mean, would you say with that being said, in in Visions' mind, he's like, "Hey, I won four against Hike. I can do this. I can beat I, anybody." I, I, I definitely see that being a, de a definite confident booster against against an opponent that had like you said such an a, such a dominating performance last week. Uh, I would definitely think that would be a, a, a big confidence booster. Nice. We're we're okay. We just got word um, that Miss Madness is uh, waiting for the invite. Uh, Miss, I do need a uh, a uh, uh, an invite from you. If you can send me a friend invite so I can invite you in, it's still Rude Boy Mitch, and I will get you in there. But with that being said, yeah, I mean, not taking anything away. <clears throat> please, uh, please, let's get those uh, invites going. And uh, let's get her in. Madness, is it the same name? Oh, I think I just got the uh, the friend requests. I thought I did. Wait. Did I not get it? Huh. I I don't see the friend requests uh Do you have her vision? Do you have her on friend requests? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, 
Hey, there we go. Perfect. That'll work. Okay. Uh, we will uh, go ahead and get these games set up. Renegade, you might have to leave your lobby. Okay. I got your invite. Let's go ahead and head into the customs there, uh, Miss Madness, so we can get this rolling. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Sorry, guys, a little technical difficulties, but we will have this on the way. Alrighty, here we go. We've got Miss Madness, also by God's Ghost, and Vision facing each other here. Match of the Ages. Thank you for taking the time, Miss Madness, and um, subbing for Hike Diesel for us on last minute occurrence. We do appreciate you. Um, and uh, we're excited to see this gameplay as Vision and everybody loads in. The main event, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The main event. Also, everybody, this will be uploaded to YouTube if you guys want to go back and relive all of this action or show your friends, family, whatever. Please advertise, talk about it, and we can do some more. I know there has been possibly talks of a fighting game tournament in the works. I don't know, but possible talks. I know that there is also a project in the works per TBG. So lots of things, lots of exciting things happening around in the Taco Someone Society. If you're not in it, please be in it. Get involved. Have a good time. And again, yes, this Rogue League is sponsored by the Taco Society. Here we go. Stay close to me and you'll probably make it. looks like we've got Miss Madness supporting the uh, the wolf uh, the wolf and jacket look for um, Ronin as Vision supporting the uh, Hellfire look. Please stay in the plane until we die. Thank you. Hopefully the game is good to us. Hopefully next week our sponsor, our spectate mode will be back into effect. And the games are on the way. Miss Madness taking the long approach going left. Visions is taking, looks like he's taking an aggressive approach and going. Visions going right in the face. Vision, Vision cuts her off on the side. Miss Madness, knife throw. Vision's got a peek. Oh, and Vision no cleans her up. Miss Madness tries to attempt a good knife throw, but ends up getting kind of shut down. Bomb drop. I have the bomb. That's that, okay. That's the first real aggressive play we've seen today. Yeah, that was the first just match point. This is my house type of gameplay. All right, here we go. We've got Miss Madness with the bomb, Vision defending. What's gonna happen? We have no idea what kind of play Miss Madness will be playing. She definitely, definitely, definitely having a great play. Visions did go with the AR this round, but he did not purchase a grenade. He is really taking the aggressive approach here. <laughs> Miss Madness has a money bag that's dropping money as she moves. <laughs> 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 as Vision and Miss Madness are up on top, fairly next to each other, but not no. Vision is going back to the A play. Miss Madness is going in the, for uh, bomb throw. She's playing, she's playing door. 
She's playing door and she's gonna plant the bomb right underneath the door. She's going for the wait and see approach. And playing the corner! We have not seen this play before! Oh my god, what? What strategy? Will this pull off? Will this pull off? He's being cautious, moving in. Oh, he does, he does see the knife up top. Yeah, will he go in? Is he gonna go in? He's definitely make, de definitely checking everywhere right now. What a strategic play. He goes in the glass. Vision Wait, doesn't see him. Vision's gotta go for bomb. Vision's gotta go for bomb. Fakes the plant, rolls past nice her. Nice roll! And Miss Madness cleans wow. him up! Wow! What a strategy! What? What a gunfight that was. What just happened? Wow. Miss Madness comes in and says, you are not going to piss in my Cheerios. Sorry. <laughs> Absolutely not. Just, just the play on the side. The play on the side. Throwing off the, the play with the knife. Sitting on the box, waiting for it, baiting him in. That was just textbook. Textbook play. Oh, God damn it. All right. Visions is creeping the uh, the middle section there. Deploys his knife down the middle. I wonder if he was using the knife as kind of a, uh, a way to figure out where uh, where she's coming from. He's creeping around the left side of B here. Miss Madness creeping around, taking that B approach again. Wow, did the thing is I don't think Vision seen her play make that play and sit on that box. So she could technically use it again. Look out. She she could. She could, because he did not see her on top of the uh the use box it, at B. Using the zip line. Using the zip line. Picks the knife back up. She did that to protect herself on the side. Ready to party? Throws the bomb nope. next to the, throws the knife next to the bomb. Vision, will he will he make the Vision play? Vision knows that she just left where B is. Vision's paying she attention to that window. Vision's paying attention to that window. She did shoot the bomb. Right. He he knows. He took care of the knife problem. Now he's got to try to he's he, trying he to figure out where she is before he disarms that bomb. Blindside oh. shot! Blindside he shot! Jump on him. He is hurt. He is really hurt. Vision's not stepping down though. With the smoke oh, grenade. Switches. He's going switches for bomb the defusal. Here. All enemies have been eliminated. Does and she wins. She wins by bomb defusal. Wow. What a play. What a play. Miss Madness is not not to be taken lightly definitely got him distracted enough that uh, she was able to get the uh, the bomb win she is playing so many different tactics like it is absolutely insane using the smoke grenade baiting with her own knife not even going for the head kill like baiting for the whole knife doing absolutely phenomenal you cannot teach the strat right now Vision is playing up. so hard. He, he, he's definitely trying to get a beat on on what she's what she's doing in that. He's, he's having some he's having some trouble right now. Man, he got that first real aggressive play, and he hasn't been able to get a beat on her since. What a match! Vision's kind of chilling here in the middle. I think he's kind of might be trying to figure out if he can hear any noises, whether it be footsteps, 
or anything to kind of try to get a beat on where she's at. Uh oh. Oh, he saw peaks, her at the peaks, bomb. Peaks. Knife throw. Knife throw doesn't watching, get it. Watching, watching, watching. Goes around. Play in the corner. Sneaking. Vision, I don't think really knows. Look out. He is going in for the. Went for the uh, bomb. For the going for the defusal. And Miss Madness just it's comes in and bomb. mops him up. Wow. I tell you what, this is mind game central right now. It absolutely really mind games. Just absolutely mind games. What do you think Vision is thinking right now? Is it is it the sub? Do you think it's the I'm playing somebody that I that I I, I haven't seen before or I, I definitely think that's coming into play that he does he doesn't know what her tendencies are. I mean this is a crazy look. I don't as much as the strategy she is, uh, this is the best flashiest play we've seen all day. Absolutely. Absolutely best. I she mean, by far, she's using entirely different tactics than we've seen all day. She what? is not using the same tactics like, that everybody else has. What a performance. Do you think even Aqua J Doggles are sweating a little bit if they if she was in the league with this type of maneuverability? Like, if if she was in the league, I, I definitely would think she'd be a force to be reckoned with. Oh my goodness. I, oh my god, does he even see him? Made him roll he off. Down, trying, trying to see if he can flank her now. Ooh. Taking the taking the zip line, which might be a risky move. That zip line is so loud to take too. Wow. I just don't know. I don't I know. Bomb, bomb is on the other side, which is really strange because usually that's cover side. Okay, Vision's just went Vision. To the Vision the has now an idea. Oh, he has no idea. Direct hit. Direct, Direct hit, hit from afar. Wow. Oh my god! Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is madness. It's for real. Absolutely for real. Do you think Vision should go back to that original, the, the, the first win that he got when he just rushed in on her? Do you think he should go back to that strategy and I, at I, least try it again? I don't know. He's got to figure out some kind of way to get some pressure on her or it's just it's 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 game over. He's definitely definitely going to have to make some adjustments. Cuz he went with that first real aggressive play and then he really he, he's really backed off. And I think she's really She's, she's definitely getting in his even, head right now. Even Jay Doggles in chat is saying, you don't want this heat, man. He is even impressed. I, I think she is oh, definitely I think getting Vision in his head right now. Quick throw, quick oh, throw. Grenade her. throw. She's hurt. He's rushing. Wow, look at look the movement, though. The movement. She's backing up to heal up a bit. Vision just opened up the door, which kind of oh, gave away. Oh, she got the blind shot! Oh my goodness, what a gunfight. This is going to come down to gunplay. Who wants it more, ladies and gentlemen? And Vision oh, runs oh, right it's into it. Why, why, wow. why, wow. Why didn't Vision reload his AK and go in there? Lock it down. I think he was Ooh. trying to bait her with that that open opening that door on the other side and trying to see if he could sneak around so behind her, but it did not work. She did not fall for it. <laughs> We've got some people in chat saying, "You're lucky I don't play." <laughs> uh, I can't wait. For Stay close to me, and you'll probably make it. I mean, I think honestly, Aqua and Jay Doggles and Hike are like really glad Miss Madness is not a main competitor in the league. But that's not to say that what if she joins the next one? 
It, it, she definitely could. What if she joins the next one? Alfie's. This is definitely making the tacos think. Absolutely. 5-1. I did not ever expect we would be Vision would be down this much right now. 5-1. He's definitely having to have I to think, think. Ooh, I think these mind interesting games play by Vision's here. He just chucked his knife through a hole to kind of put it up in a location where she might not be able to see it. Uh, yeah, but the, bomb. the bomb's gone. Vision does have the bomb now. We're back to spit arm sidearm. Vision He's definitely going with an interesting approach here. Vision's looking the back side of the wall. He's definitely trying to peek that bomb. Mm, she's cautious. She's being cautious. Look out. Going down to gunfight. Oh my god, Vision walked on the knife! Rookie mistake! She, wow! Rookie mistake! Oh! Wow! Wow! Well done! Well done! Match point, match point for Miss Madness! Did not think this match was gonna go like this! I definitely what did is, not see. What does Vision do? What does he do? Like, I don't know. I, I almost think he has to go for a quick plant and then try to be, maybe try to be aggressive on it. Plant the bomb and go and go aggressive. Either that or just not worry about planting the bomb and just try to rush in like, like he did that first round. Miss Madness is taking the, uh, it's funny because a lot of wins came off of the, uh, the SMG approach, but Mrs. Madness is sticking to that AK and she is making it work. Um, so very, very intriguing. Visions does have a primary. I didn't see which one he purchased. And Vision, uh, Miss Madness caught him. Mass sees him. Vision has no idea. And the knife throw to end it right on point. What a knife Shuts throw. him down with seven to one. Well done. Well played. Miss Madness, thank you for coming in and subbing for Hike Diesel. You definitely are his champion. You played it well. Absolutely played Very it well. well. Well, I well did done. Not see that outcome. Phenomenal, wow. phenomenal. Ma Jay Doggles is calling out Miss Madness right now, one on one, calling her out. <laughs> what a play! Well done, well done. Renegade, to recap for the day, what do you think? Where do we go from here? What happens? that that was wow what what a day what a day of just absolute phenomenal matches wow who who stood out to you who was who was your who was your star player i mean everybody did amazing but who stood out i don't know how you don't don't give the 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 star of the day to this is madness. I, I don't I don't know how you don't give that to her. Coming in here, being a sub, no one knowing how she plays and just absolutely killed it. So you say Miss Madness with MVP of the day, and you think Monkey with uh, move of the day, play of the day? Absolutely. That that would definitely be where, where I would go with that. That's awesome. Well, to wrap it all up, that is the end of week two. The official results will be posted uh, hopefully by tomorrow. Um, and then matchups will hopefully be posted as well by tomorrow as well. Um, with, that, with that being said, uh, we all know the random rogue that is selected will be selected on Friday. 
and along with the random map we are heading into week three so it's going to be really interesting on how the matchups fare out what the points look at and finally finally have a little bit more separation of not having so many ties so with that being said we are going to raid out here and find somebody to raid out this is a uh, rude boy mitch this is renegade and this is us signing off, guys. We'll see you all next week. Here we go. Stick around for the raid. Let's show some fellow tacos some love. I know, it's my brother. Are you there? That was amazing. Oh, thank you. Raining. Hey, what? GG's. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> I was nervous at that game. <laughs> I'm like sweating. It's like, where's my sweatpants? <laughs> thank you. You still here, Renegade? Uh, I will be your champion. <laughs> that was for uh, yeah, I'm here. Diesel for okay. sure. What's up? Oh, no, no, I just yeah, curious. We... Hey, man, thanks for. Uh... Uh...